well, do you have any regular ones? Yeah. Any chance I could see one? Yeah. You got kick? No. I have Facebook, WhatsApp, or Skype. Ugh, I deleted Facebook. How old are you? 44. You? 13. Okay. I'll be 14 next month. That's great. Do you have either WhatsApp or Skype? Skype. Okay. Are you on now? Who is this? Are you the guy from Wire Club? Yes, of course. Cool. If I show you a pic, don't laugh. I won't. I don't judge. Send me the pic on your avatar. Would love to see. Cute pic you sent. Don't you have color pics? Ha ha. What about you? I have a bunch of pics on wire. I can add you if you want to see them. Is that cool? Sure. You are gorgeous. Is that creepy to you? <laughs> Actually, so are you. I like your pics. Thanks. And thank you for saying that. I'm not normally rude, lol. I don't think you are. I'm just stunned how beautiful you are. You're really 13. You have some badass tats. Thanks. I like my tats. Yeah. Did you ever think you would say a 44-year-old dude is hot? <laughs> I turned 14 October 21st. I think older guys are handsome. Well, some. That's cool. Did you go out with guys at school? I just moved here. Oh. So I don't really know guys yet. Do you have any friends at school yet? Yeah, a few. It's tough when you're new. Can you do me a favor? Especially because I came from California here. It's crazy. Huh? I want to see you. Could we do a video chat for like a minute? Really quick. I'm on my iPod. It doesn't have video? Nope. My dad took that away because I was video chatting too much. Don't you have Skype on phone or computer as well? LOL. Well, if I had my own laptop, yeah. Do you have your own phone? And my phone is in limbo because I broke two this year, so I don't get my upgrade for another month. Well, actually, like two weeks. So my mom gave me a retarded flip phone. Wait, if you have Skype on iPod, are you sure it doesn't have video? I thought it comes with Skype. I'm sure my dad disabled Cam. Yeah, but if he disabled it, you can easily enable it. It's in settings. I'm not getting into trouble. <laughs> okay, but it's just weird. Wait, are you someone trying to see if I would? Why would he disable it on a device that can easily be overridden? Man, I haven't been in trouble for three months. No, it just doesn't make much sense. I don't believe you. And I want to verify it's you, because people on the wire are fucked up. I'm not getting in trouble again. Can't trust anyone, but okay. Exactly. I can show you who I am. I guess I just want to make sure you are who you are. I can call you tomorrow if you want, but I really don't want to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. Call me how? On phone or Skype? So if you are someone who knows my dad or mom, tell them I'm not fucking around on here. On phone. Bailey. Yeah. The chances of me knowing your dad is small. Come on. We randomly met on wire. How do I know people don't just randomly look? You're being paranoid. <laughs> if you've gotten in trouble as much as I used to, you'd understand. But if you call me on phone, I still can't see to verify you. <laughs> Guess not. Can you use a computer at school to go on Skype or a minute? But I don't know you good enough to risk getting fucking grounded again. And my mom finally trusts me to leave me alone this weekend. Well, I was just saying we could vid chat for 30 seconds to verify. Well, I don't know. It's strange. I guess you haven't run into fake people on wire. No, mostly people who want to see my feet. 
You could be anyone for all I know. It would just make me more comfortable, I guess. And then you would know it's me as well. Are you even able to use Skype at school? Is it possible? Oh, uh, well, nope. Okay. Have you seen the computers? Haha, ha, I'm sure they suck. Cheap ass school. Laugh my ass off. Can you send me one face pic that is color? Anyway, I'm going to bed. Yeah, I can send you one. I'm on the left. Or maybe you can borrow a friend's phone to Skype me for a few seconds another time. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Bailey. Anyhow, I'm tired. Yeah? I think you look amazing. I hope you don't think that's crazy, considering the age difference. Thanks. That really means a lot to me. I shouldn't even be talking to you, because you're so young, compared to me. It's been a long time since someone said that to me. Well, I really hope it's you. Let's talk again. You aren't like Santa Claus, old. But work on getting on video, so we can see each other, even if it's for only a minute. Yeah, I know, I'm not old, but most girls your age would think so. I'm not most girls. I like school. I like to read. I got in some trouble when my parents divorced and I had to move here. I'm glad you're not. I hate fakes. I hate users. I hate liars. But I don't just go trusting you because people lie and I get hurt. Right, you shouldn't. That's why I was trying to verify you. I don't trust many people online. So if after all of that you still want to talk, cool. But you seem nice. You're smart for your age. And you are beautiful. So yes, I do. I hate stupid people. That's why I hardly talk to guys my age. I don't want to hear your mama jokes. And how loud someone can burp, lol. Right. Jeff? Very immature. Thank you for saying I'm pretty. You're welcome. Good night, Bailey. Well, good night. Talk to you soon. Hey, how was your day? It's good. How is yours? Great. Working right now. What you doing? Homework. I have dance class tonight, so I have to get it done. What is your job? Premium auditor for insurance industry. Work from home a lot. Or at clients. My company is in Connecticut, but I never have to go there. I live in Boston. Not sure if you knew that. I think you told me. I don't know what your job means. But it sounds like you are smart. Thanks. I don't expect you to understand unless I explain it. But I won't right now. Are you at home? Yeah, just for a little while. Okay. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Are you a virgin? Oh, well, yeah, that is personal. No, I was with my boyfriend once. So you slept with one guy? Yeah. More than once? A couple times. I am surprised. Why? Most, girl, most girls your age are virgins, so I'm impressed. I told you last night I'd gotten into trouble before. Right, but I wasn't sure for what. And LOL, at my old school, there were a lot of thirsty thoughts. Thirsty thoughts? I'm not thirsty or a thought. What do you mean? Not thought. Thought. Thirsty means someone who gives blowjobs to whoever. What's a thought? That hoe over there. <laughs> uh, did you blow your boyfriend? No. Honestly, it was always happened so fast, and then it was like, what the fuck? Have you blown anyone? No, I never cheated on him, and we were together for like a year. I really want to see you on vid. <laughs> How can we do this? Buy me a phone, LOL joke. <laughs> I have an iPhone 4S that I don't use. I'd give it to you if I could. Aw, thanks. I get an upgrade in like three weeks, at least by my birthday. How do you take pics if you don't have a phone? They had a phone. I broke it. Well, two of them. And the pics are on my SD card. So you can't take a pic of yourself right this second if you wanted to? Nope. One of the other reasons I got in trouble. But I've been really good lately, so my mom is willing to give me another chance. Well, because I have an idea. 
Plus, my dad wants pics of me, too. I want to believe it's you in the pics, but obviously I can't because you know you could be anyone. So I was going to say, take a selfie, holding up four fingers below your face. Then I would know it's really you. <laughs> the chances of you already having this pic is slim. So I would know it's really you if you took it like that. No offense. I really want to believe it's you, but I can't based on past experiences online. Can you borrow a friend's phone to take that selfie for me? You are more freaked out than you said I was. Not freaked out. Just don't trust anyone online. I hope it's you because I like you. I'll ask, but honest, I'm not getting in trouble for you. My mom finally trusts me. You won't get in trouble. I like that. What? That my mom trusts me again. So if you use your friend's phone and they send it to you and you can send it to me, how else would your mom find out? You could delete it after. Thanks for trying. I really appreciate it. You better be real. If you are actually someone who is doing this for my dad, that's pretty fucked up. I am real. I can prove it. So am I. I was willing to if you had Cam. So I was trying to think outside the box. I believe you, but I can't due to past experience. I just need confirmation. Sorry again. It's not personal. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. What happened to you that made you so paranoid? It's not like that. I have used the internet for a long time. I have just known over the years that people aren't always who they say they are. It's simple. There is nothing that happened. That's like everywhere, though. You still there? Online is easier to disguise yourself. So that's my main point, Bailey. Your situation is unique in that you can't turn on your camera like most people can. To verify. It's really simple to do so. That's why I was trying to figure out another way. Sorry. My mom wanted me to help her get some stuff out of the car. Hit me up later. I have to get ready for dance. Sure. One thing before you go. Yeah? The reason I care so much to verify and see you is because I think you are special and I like you. If you were just some other random chick with nothing to offer, I, would, I wouldn't be so concerned or eager to see you. And you are extremely beautiful. Talk soon. Wow, thank you. That made me smile. Good. Don't forget it. Hey, cutie. Ugh. What's up, Bailey? Hey, Jeff. What's up? Is it all right calling you cutie? Ha <laughs> ha. Hello, yeah. Nice to hear. What are you doing? Anything good? Helping get stuff ready for dinner. What about you? Work, then gym, then dinner. I work out at home. What do you do at the gym? My mom got a treadmill and bike for us. All kinds of stuff. Weights, cardio. I box sometimes. Are you, like, super into health? Nah. Good. Why, ha <laughs> I hate those people. They're always talking what not to eat. Yeah, fuck them. How tall are you? 5'2". You? 5'9". Tall guy. Love your body, gotta say. Let me guess, you 110? 112, lol. Oh my god, I was so close. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I win a prize? Pizza and burgers are my diet. You're slim, so no worries. <laughs> you can have a prize. What would it be? Pizza, lol. Or I could take you for burgers sometime. I'd like that, but I'm not one of those fake hoes that are like, oh, give me a salad. I want the whole cheeseburger. Have you ever been to California? Yes. Ever hear a place called In-N-Out? Yep, love it. Too bad we don't have it here. Oh, my God. Double, double and animal fries. Yeah, I miss it. I miss California. I like fat burger, too. I never ate there, but I did at Tommy's. We have tasty burger in Boston, which is OK. I haven't found a great burger place here yet. I want to see Boston. It's in our history book a lot. Well, I am not too far. Maybe you can sometime. I will show you. I'd like that. Oh, before I forget. Yes. Wow. You did it for me. How did you do that? Yeah, I told you I'd ask. 
It's just that I barely met these girls, so I don't tell them my business. So I just said I wanted a pic of me at school. That's great. I like it. Your hands are cute. I always look at hands on a girl. It's something that can turn me off. <laughs> I'm a nail polish freak. I like solid colors. Hate French manicure. Ha. <laughs> I get those sometimes. But I like the shape of your nails. They are healthy looking and attractive. Thank you. Don't get French. It looks tacky. And like you're trying too hard. Ha ha. I'm telling you, I'm an expert. Any solid color. Hey, I have to go eat dinner. Are you going to be on later? Maybe, but I'll try if you want. Does that mean you want to talk again? Later tonight? Yeah, I want to talk to you. Is that cool? I don't want to bother you. Yes, it is. But I want to talk to you about that because I have some mixed emotions. Okay. You don't bother me. What time is good? 11 p.m.? Yeah, I don't have school tomorrow. Nice. Okay, talk later. Okay. Hey there. Hey, you. I'm trying to free up space on my MacBook. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So let me ask you something. Okay. I realize this is a loaded question that might be tough for you to answer, but besides being your friend on here, chat buddy, or whatever you want to say I am, what do you ultimately want out of me? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. I like talking to you. What about you? Not sure, but I'm afraid of the fact that I am so attracted to you, Bailey. I'm sorry, Jeff. I don't want to make you feel bad. It's not you. It's the fact you're 14. I think you are cute, too. I shouldn't be attracted to you. It's not right. I am so much older. Okay, I'm sorry. Again, though, it's not your fault. It's just the situation. Is it okay to say thank you for saying I'm pretty? You are tempting. <laughs> yes, why do you ask? Because it's nice to hear, but I don't want to make you feel bad about telling me. We're just chatting. Yes, I know. But the fact that we have an attraction and the age difference sort of scares me. <laughs> do you see what I mean? As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old girl like this. Yet I want to. Yeah, I can understand. I guess I just never thought it was so bad talking to someone if you liked them. It's not bad. It's just not normal, I guess. I don't understand why it's anyone's business if we want to talk. You're right. I guess I'm just feeling guilty, and I probably shouldn't. And it's damn sure isn't anyone's business if I think you are cute. Of course. I don't want to make you feel guilty. I'd feel like a douche. So if you want to talk, just let me know so I don't bother you. I really appreciate you sending me that pic earlier, but I'm still not 100% sure about you. I'm sorry. I realized the first pic you sent me the other day also had four fingers. So now I'm wondering, maybe she has a bunch of those pictures. <laughs> the whole point of asking you to hold up four fingers was to ask you to do something unusual so that I know that the pic you're taking would be genuine and that you were taking it just for me. Now I'm inclined to ask you to do it once more, but doing something even more unusual. Just to convince myself it's you. I hope you're not mad at me. I'm not doing that. It was embarrassing enough today. And honestly, I'm not willing to work that hard for someone who doesn't even know if they want to talk to me. Bailey, that's incorrect. I want to talk to you. It's cool. There's a lot of people we can both talk to. I really want to talk to you. I guess you don't understand. Maybe I'm not explaining it. I like you a lot, all I'm saying. I guess not. But honest, Jeff, we hardly even talk about fun things or getting to know each other things. We can. I'm sorry, Bailey. Maybe I am overthinking. It's am I me? And I'm sorry I broke my phone. Twice. And I don't take millions of selfies. I honestly hate my pics. I don't want to have doubts about whether you are the girl I think you are. I hope to God you are. I think you were amazing. Remember you said you thought I might be someone that knows your dad and you were paranoid about it? I think you are too. I don't know what else to say. I like talking to you. You were the first guy who knew in and out. That was awesome. Yeah, I remember. Well, I have a similar paranoia. 
unless I can verify it's you, I keep thinking that if she really is someone who was undercover and trying to nail online predators who talk to minors. I think I'm too young to have a job like that. That's not my point. My fear is that it's not you, that it's someone in law enforcement looking to nail someone. You know I could be put in jail if the police found out we were intimate? We were just chatting, yes, I know, but I'm just saying. I know it sounds crazy to you. How the hell would the police know anything? Only time that happens is if someone says something. Last time my mom got called by the school cop because I told a girl if she didn't shut the fuck up about my friend, I swore I'd never talk to another cop. If you took one more pick crossing two fingers holding them under your face, I would believe it's you. If she didn't shut the fuck up, I'd kick her ass. I don't know, Jeff. I'll think about it. Okay, let's chat more to get to know each other. I don't want to spend my days talking to a guy who keeps questioning me. You're right. You should. Maybe we should get to know each other more. You might consider doing that one last favor for me. Okay. Bailey, listen. The only way the police would know if we were, ever got intimate is if someone saw us together or you told the police. That shit happens. Not by me. Fuck that. I don't know why you would tell the police, but theoretically you could. Shit happens. So could you. Is all I'm saying. I wouldn't because I'm the only one that would get in trouble with the law. You wouldn't. You might get in trouble at home, but not with the law. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> okay. Going to jail or going to your room? I'd rather go to your room. LOL. I don't go to my room, Haas. I'm pretty sure my mom is low-key part Nazi. It was a metaphor explaining getting in trouble at home. Anyway, Bailey, Bailey. So get to know me. Ask me something. Jeff, Jeff, do you have kids? Nope. Me either. Your turn. Are there any guys at school you like? That was a joke, by the way. Yeah, I get it. Haha. Ha. I'm not an idiot. Idiot. <laughs> no, I just started like four weeks ago, and lots of people don't get my humor. So tell me again about this girl you wanted to fight. Why? Ugh, that thought. Okay, so my friend liked this guy that the other girl liked, and have you ever heard of that burn book app? <sighs> no. Okay, well, it's an app that lets you talk shit about anyone at your school anonymously. Uh -huh. Okay. Like, each school has a section. So that host started saying my friend was DTF, anyone, anywhere. Deft? Down to fuck, DTF. Yeah, I figured it out before you explained. <laughs> right, before. LOL, okay. Like, then the gut like a fucking idiot believes it and all these guys are lying saying they got with her and they were crying and wanted to leave the school so i got mad was this in cali yeah okay i just moved here in the beginning of august okay so that's it so wait i'm not really a mean person what did you say to her i don't like my friends hurt i said hey you stupid bitch who has been thirsty for every guy here? Your ugly ass has to make up lies to get a guy because you're too fucking ugly to get one. If you ever try talking shit, even on Burn Book, you fake bitch, I'll kick your ass so hard you'll move schools. So I got sent home and the campus cop called home. Did you say it to her face? Um, yeah. Good. At school, the cop heard, teachers heard, kids heard. Heard you yelling at her? LOL, some kids were like, damn, Bailey, we thought you were super quiet. Yeah, I yelled at her in front of a classroom in the commons. Loving it. You're a little badass. But they didn't see my friend cry. I did. And I didn't like it. Only when I protect people I care about. And the cop wouldn't listen to me. That seriously made me mad. Well, of course. LOL, so how awful do I seem now? At school, usually the cop is going to side with the less aggressive person. You're not awful. I told you. I don't judge. Neither do I. Good. I like that you stand up for your friends. Thank you. I thought it was funny you said it was awesome. I'm the only person that knows in and out. It's because your peers at school would never know. 
about it because they haven't traveled. I'm older, so I've been places. <laughs> but I'm glad you think it's awesome. Even the people I talked to on Wire Club who said they'd been to California didn't know in and out. Well, they are losers. Yep. Okay, do I get another question? Of course, anytime. Do you think reading books is fun or for losers? Well, I didn't read when I was in high school. I fucked around. <laughs> but I think reading is important to build knowledge and practice comprehension, especially at a young age. Reading can be fun. But I think it's essential for knowledge. I love reading, but not for knowledge. Even if you're not having fun, reading is st still great for you. I like reading for fun. I like reading for knowledge. <laughs> I make myself read stuff. I read for stories, LOL. I read news and opinion articles. I don't really read books, but I'm glad you read. It's great. It's not nerdy? Nope. Some people your age might think so, but they are immature. Yeah. Ask me more stuff. That's another reason I don't talk to many guys at school. Because you were way more mature? Yeah. I believe it. What do you talk about with dudes on wire? If they are nice, we talk about whatever we have in common or just random stuff. I was surprised you gave me your Skype so soon. LOL. I hardly go on wire club. And I really wanted to talk to you. And you don't have kick. Was I different from the other dudes on wire? Yeah, kind of. You seem to actually pay attention to what I was saying. Do you give your kick to guys on wire? Not anymore. LOL. One guy just kept bugging me, so I'm way more careful. I don't really go in chat. Mostly I Pinterest, LOL. Okay. What about you? Do you talk to lots of girls on Wire Club? Go on sometimes when I'm bored. Yes, a few. That's cool. What impresses you in a guy? He has to be smart and fun and can't be fake. So you mean genuine? Yeah. You will get more genuine than Jeff. I tell it like it is. I am blunt. Good or bad, I speak my mind. My mom says she isn't Willy Wonka. She won't sugarcoat shit. I'm like that. Good. Your mom sounds great, too. <laughs> she has her moments. My brother lives in Cali. My dad thinks she's a bitch. She says he's Satan. Sounds like a great marriage. <laughs> They're divorced. Oh. That's why we moved. So you live with your mom? And moving is why I broke my phone. Yeah, just me and her. Where's your dad? California still. What town? Los Angeles. Okay. You live in Bridgeport now? Near there, in Fairfield. I have a buddy in that area. Really? Did he tell you it sucks here? <laughs> no. He is from there. It's different if you come from Cali. Come on, you know that. Just different environment growing up. It's supposed to snow forever here. Yuck. Kids who are from Connecticut won't say it sucks because that's all they know. Why did your mom choose Fairfield? Work. She isn't sure if we'll stay here or move to New York. What does she do? So we're trying things here. She works in investments and finance. But why the drastic move across country? Couldn't she just stay in Cali and do that job? She got offered a lot of money. Nice. And she gets to travel. So she leaves you alone? And it was one more thing to piss my dad off about. Well, we've only been here almost two months. She doesn't go away all the time. When she travels, will she leave you home alone? For short trips, yeah, if I can't go. Has she done it yet in Connecticut? Yeah, when she went to Atlanta. How old is she? LOL, you want to date her? <laughs> Laugh my ass off. No. She's 49. Oh, older than I thought. I was a surprise to them. Like a mistake? Ouch. Come on. <laughs> yes, I'm a mistake. You know what I mean. I told you I'm blunt. No harm, though. Okay, so you were unintentional. Yeah. But you are a princess. So lovely. Thanks. I can't believe you're 13. I mean, you sound older. I'm turning 14. I know. 
I mean, you're smart, mature, so you seem older. I guess because everyone I was around was older. People in Cali that you hang with? My family and a lot of my friends. What age were they? Friends? My friend Laura, the one I stood up for. We hung out with their brother and his friends. They were 17 to around 25. How old is Laura? My age. Okay. Was that her in the pic? You said? No, that was today. She's in Cali. No, I meant the pic you sent the other day. You and another girl. Oh, no, that's Allie. She emailed me that pic from last weekend when I was in Rhode Island. What were you doing there? Seeing my aunt. Who is Allie? Hey, I was supposed to go to Boston to meet my aunt. But she stayed at her friend's, and I went with her there. Allie's my aunt's friend's daughter. Okay, wait. Where did your aunt live? Arizona. She went to Boston and Vermont for her job. Okay. Do you have any people in Boston? LOL. <laughs> nope. Everyone is West Coast. Hey, you know what? What? You got me. Ah! Huh? I'm in Boston. So you got me in Boston. Ha <laughs> ha. I was trying to be cute. <laughs> That's cute. In a dorky way. Now you have people in Boston. Person. Ha ha ha. I still want to have burgers with you. Did you say you have a brother in California? Yes, San Francisco. And yes to burgers. Love burgers. <laughs> I went there last year. Nice. Me too. What's your fave food? Everything. Nope. Pick one, two, and three, LOL. Oh my god. Choices. Bring it. Come on, Bailey. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Hamburger, pizza, and... Tacos, hot wings, and chinadas, fried chicken, and egg rolls. That's three. I hate when people say hot wings, LOL. It's buffalo wings. Get it right. You're on East Coast now. Ha-ha. <laughs> it's not made out of buffalo. Hot wings originated in buffalo. That's why. But they're yummy. Now, hot sauce is called buffalo sauce in some places. Or salsa if you come from my family. And yes, they are yummy because boneless buffalo wings are my fave food. Oh my god. I love the boneless ones. Why salsa? My mom's family is part Mexican and Salvadoran. Okay. I can't stop eating donuts, LOL. That's my other fave. I'm getting fat. I ate a bag of Rolo Minis and cereal for dinner yesterday. Better watch out. You're a girl. Girls get fat easier. Ha ha. Don't get fat. It's not pretty. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm in dance and work out every day. What kind of dance? I can eat some candy, ballet and jazz. Will you teach me? Sure. Ballet? I can't dance. Well, not ballet. Why not? You'd look cute in a dance outfit. <laughs> Do you know any male ballet dancers? In California, I did. Do they have a penis? Ballet is for girls. <laughs> yes. Dance is for anyone. Oh my god, you're lame. It's for anyone. But guys hardly ever do ballet. Such a small percentage. Because they're afraid. Yeah, stigma. Being judged. Not worth it. Yep. And that's stupid if people judge. Gay athletes are only starting to come out in men's sports. It's still very new. Same reason, being judged. But they got past it. 
My parents told me that people are always going to talk shit. So I need to do what makes me happy and fuck everyone else. They are right, but... I have gay family and friends. I don't care if they're gay. I love them for who they are. A 13-year-old boy who does ballet could be dangerous because of what his peers might say to him. At 13, you don't have the confidence a 30-year-old has. Yeah, we had to have bullying talks at school. Anyway, this is stupid. Ballet is mainly a girl activity. Let's stop, LOL. <laughs> Next. I like ballet. I have nothing against it. Okay, we both like hot wings. <laughs> I'm not calling them buffalo. Whatever. And burgers. <laughs> You're getting fat eating a million donuts. Yes. And I dance girly dances. There is a donut on my counter that I want to eat right now, but I am trying not to. What kind? Coconut. Ew. Oh my god, so good. From Dunkin'. They have the best donuts. Have you ever had Krispy Kreme? Yeah, of course. But we don't have many here. I could eat a whole box. So why don't use them in the comparison? And they are different. Dunkin' doesn't serve hot donuts. I grew up on Dunkin' Donuts, so I love them. And have no regrets. Yes, KK is good, but... Krispy Kreme has hot donuts, too. I said Dunkin' doesn't. Okay. Then Krispy Kreme is better. We need a donut contest. Well, Krispy Kreme glazed donut is awesome, but the other varieties are not nearly as good as the D Dunkin' variety of flavors. I never had Dunkin'. Butternut, jelly, Boston cream, coconut, chocolate crawler. Those are some of the best. I'm fucking addicted. Chocolate sounds okay, but... Ew, and the coconut. I don't even eat chocolate that often. I prefer cake and donuts. Muffins. I like pie more than cake and muffins. Oh my god, I'm hungry. What the fuck? <laughs> Me too. But I'm too lazy to go downstairs. What does your mom think you're doing? Hopefully she thinks I'm sleeping. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, so I'm sure she'll be checking. Would she flip out if she knew you were talking to a 44-year-old guy? I think she'd be like, Bailey, seriously, what the fuck? But she says that when I talk to any guy. Yeah, but this is different. Yeah. I think she wouldn't like it, but it's not her business. It's practically illegal. That's why she wouldn't. She would think I'm a creep talking to you. I don't think you're a creep. So would any of my friends. They would be like, what the fuck, dude? Would your friends think I was one? No, nah, they wouldn't care who you were. But they wouldn't be happy knowing I was talking to a 13-year-old. They would find it weird. What was the youngest and oldest you ever talked to? No idea. I've had sex with a 23-year-old two years ago. But nothing younger in a while. I only had sex with a 17-year-old. Well, I had sex with many girls. But I'm older. Yeah. So you're a thought? That only applies to kids. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Once you become an adult, sleeping around is more common. Trust me. I mean, yes, there are sluts. But the amount of guys would be different if you're comparing a 30-year-old slut to a 14-year-old. If a 14-year-old girl slept with three guys in one month, would you call her a slut? I don't think having sex is a big deal. I mean, if you're banging everything, ew. But if it's just two people who want to, it's no biggie. I was just teasing about the thought. I know. 
But can you answer my last question? If they all went to the same school, yeah. Ha ha! Okay. So my point is, if a 30-year-old girl sleeps with three guys in one month, no one cares and no one labels her. It's just more acceptable. It's much different as a kid because three means a lot more to them than to a 30-year-old. I think it's because older people don't go around telling everyone. That's also true. If people don't find out, adults do their own thing. It's their business. At school, one person finds out, then the whole school knows. Yep. That's why I don't tell my business to anyone. But if I knew an adult girl who fucked three guys this month, I wouldn't call her a slut. Because that's not really that many. If it was ten, then yes, maybe. Yeah. Why no school? Jewish holiday? Yeah, we don't get those off in California. More Jews in Connecticut. I guess. Well, it's more concentrated. In L.A., there are Jews. But, spread out. Because so many people. Yeah, that's true. But you will take it. I'm Jewish. Hell yeah. But I have to go to the doctor anyhow. For what? I get really bad bloody noses for no reason. Okay. That sucks. My mom wants to see what can help. Do you have a GYN? Seriously, do you know how many blouses got fucked up already? A what? Gynecologist. Oh, the OBG. Nope. So you're going to see a primary? Yeah. I'm bleeding out of my nose, not down there. You should ask him for birth control prescription. <laughs> he can still give it. Primary can do anything. I already take them since last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Pills? Yeah. Sweet! Ha ha! <laughs> I'm not risking babies just in case I meet someone. I have to go to bed. Okay. We can chat more tomorrow. Or whenever. I like chatting with you, Bailey. But I want to have burger with you sometime. Yeah, more fun. I like chatting with you too, Jeff. Hit me up whenever, that way I don't bug you. Okay. Well, listen. I want one, too. You can drop me a note anytime. You're not bugging me. If I am busy, it's still nice to hear from you. You're my friend. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. I just don't want to get on your nerves. I respect that. But I can do that if you're cool with it. But as long as you know I am busy a lot then it's fine. Okay. Use your own discretion. You're a big girl. You're almost 14. Fuck it, you're an adult. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm more mature than a lot of people your age. Yep. I like you a lot. I like you too. You're chill. Thanks. You're welcome. You make me smile. I'm glad. That just made me smile. I'm more than chill. <sighs> oh, really? I want to find out. I like getting to know you. Awesome. Next time, you'll have to find out on your own. I can't just give you a list, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, night-night. Good night, sweet dreams. Thanks, you too. One more thing. Yeah? I'm dead serious. I really think you are one of the prettiest girls I ever seen. If you only knew how that makes me smile. Honest. No one really said that and meant it. But they said it. Only for their own reasons. Well, I feel it. I speak it. I know it. 
Thank you. You make my heart smile. That is great. Have a good night, Bailey. Good night, Jeff. Have a good day tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Happy holiday. I'm sorry, I don't really know what it is. Thank. No worries. Don't expect you to. Hi, Jeff. Just wanted to say good night. Talk to you soon. Nice to hear from you. Thank you. Doing some work. But you're going to bed so early. I was at the doctor for a while today. No nap. Aw. Any diagnosis? They took blood and said my weight is good. My mom said they want to rule things out. Is bloody nose only symptom? No, like super bad bloody noses. And more than one a week. Oh, I'm sure it's bad. When are they going to get back to you? I don't know. I guess soon. Well, let me know. I will. Thanks. If you need to sleep, it's okay. I can let you go. But I want to tell you that I was thinking about you today. The doctor said I should eat a burger. <laughs> Why? I thought about you too. I wanted to message but didn't want to because I know how worried you are about us talking. And he didn't say that. I just want a burger still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, listen. I want you to understand something. I'm not worried about us talking. Or how often we talk. Or when we talk. Oh, okay. If I was that concerned, I wouldn't talk to you at all. I made a decision to talk to you, even though most adults would think I'm crazy or creepy or pushing my luck. Again, that's not an insult to you. It's an age thing, of course, but as I said. I guess some people would say the same thing to me. I am okay. They might but for different reasons. I just like talking to you. Okay. But do you think about meeting me? I like that you are chill. Are you buying food? Aha, of course. But I don't want to... <laughs> of course. But I don't want you to meet me to get a free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I have babysitting money. And if we ever wanted to meet, I think it would cool. I think if we kick it on here and get along, then yeah, if you did. But if not, just here is cool too. If we met and we went out for burgers, do you understand why other adults would look down on me? I really want you to understand this. Because people are going to think I am with you because I want you and that it looks like I am a pedophile. I am just saying, we would need to be careful. If anyone sees us or know we were together, they could potentially report me to the cops. How would they know you're not like my brother? Unless we're like telling random strangers our business. Yes, I agree. But someone who might know one of us might see us together and not tell us. I'm just saying it could happen. I went for pizza with my friends all the time, and no one questioned me. Nobody would question us. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe people are different here than California. But all it takes is one person to go to the cops. Theoretically, the cops could put a private investigator on me and try to nail me if I was intimate with you. I'm just being cautious about it. Anyway... I want you to understand my point, that's all. It doesn't mean I don't want to meet you, just expressing myself. I get that, pretty much, and I like you. I don't want to make you feel creeped out. That's why I didn't message earlier. I don't want to make you feel like you have to talk to me. But again, that's not the point. I don't think you get it. I do. You don't want cops getting us or you in trouble. I don't want that either. 
It's worrying about the consequences of potentially getting caught with a minor, which is against the law. I understand. If we are having sex, I'm not saying we are. <laughs> Just saying there is potential. Well, I'm not having sex for a cheap ass burger. Funny. I realize what romance is, Bailey. I'm not going to try to fuck you after I take you out for burgers. Steak? Maybe. Lobster? For sure. Just kidding. Nope. No sex. No matter what. I'm not sure how we went from burgers to sex and steak and lobster. But I'm hungry. Ha ha! Have you thought about meeting me? I didn't at first. Then, after we talked a couple days ago, I did. Then yesterday, I thought, no. Why no? Because I didn't want to make you feel worried. I'm being realistic. Doesn't mean I don't want to meet you, though. Like I said. I'd rather just talk here. Okay. Then lose talking to you totally. We will talk, but at some point, I'm going to want to meet you. I don't need a Skype buddy. <laughs> I'm an awesome buddy. But if we're both cool with it, I'd like to meet you too. I don't like talking to you. I interrupted my work for you. I don't do that just for anyone. Ah, I stayed awake for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you too. When you thought about me today, what were you thinking about specifically? I wondered what you were doing, and if you thought about me. I was thinking about you, and wondering if you were thinking about me, <laughs> and what it would be like to kiss you. I thought about that the first time I saw your pictures. Oh my God! Really? Hell yeah! A guy who is cute and tatted, for sure. Well, there are tons of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really. Your pics are really nice. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I haven't heard such praise from you thus far, but I love it. Can I ask, what makes me gorgeous? There's a pic of you. I don't know, like in the desert. You have a nice body, and your grin. I like that. And your eyes look nice. And if you put it all together, it's wow. I'm like wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone likes that pic of me in the desert, but actually, it's on a beach. And you just seem super fucking cool to chill with. Like, not uptight. What beach? Place called Plum Island. It's in Mass. You would love to chill with me. God. Even beaches are way different than California. Everything is different. <sighs> oh, no. What? Everything is different. Why does that make you sleep? Wrong emoji. What's wrong with being in a different place? I want you to embrace New England. It's your home now. Try to get used to it. Don't compare it to Callie. There's nothing wrong. Except I just wasn't ready to say goodbye to everything and everyone. I'm sure. I know it's hard. You will grow up faster by living in different places. It will teach you about the world, cultures, societies. Yeah, that's what my mom said. Your mom is smart. I like her. <laughs> Sometimes. Don't forget. Do you like sports? She was a teenager too. She was in your shoes at one point. I love sports. She didn't leave everything behind. Do you like hockey? 
<laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Me too. LA Kings? I used to go to tons of games with my dad. Yeah, since I was like five. I follow all the Boston sports teams, but my fave is football. And now preseason started, no games for me. I like football a lot too. Hey Bailey, you should go to bed. <laughs> and God, you probably like the Patriots, huh? And yes, I love the Patriots. Don't hate. Ugh, I'm going to bed. To be continued. <laughs> Flat balls. But whatever. Four Super Bowls, debate over, good night. By luck, deflation, and crap. <laughs> Listen. Good night, Jeff. Thanks for spending time talking to me. I listen to a lot of sports radio. And I also have some friends who I hate as regarding the Pats. I don't want another. It just gets old. Please, don't be a hater. You're better than that. I realize so many people hate us, but please be respectful. I just tease. My team sucks. But I can be happy for you. Thank you. Support me. <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them. Good night, cutie. Good night, handsome. Want to let you know I was thinking about you, Bailey. Hi, Jeff. I was thinking about you, too. Hope your day's going good. You ever eat at Shake Shack? Nope. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no. Is it good? Yeah. It's a burger and shake place. I had lunch there today and thought of you, of course. Do you like tomatoes on your burgers? Not really, but I'd eat it. I hate onions. I don't like them, and I hate onion. I had a smoke shack, bacon, red peppers, and sauce. Ooh, that sounds yummy. I don't know about the peppers. You don't eat vegetable? <laughs> Cucumbers and lettuce. Love pickles. <laughs> yeah, those too. We'll hit you up later. Think about some things you want to know about me, and then ask. Okay, you too. What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Sorry I didn't respond last night. I was asleep. It's okay. What are you doing tonight? Not a lot. I think my mom's taking me to dinner. Fun, fun, fun. I want to take you to dinner. If you come to Boston, we can get lobster. I would love to. And even just for cheeseburgers. <laughs> Cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done babysitting my mom's friend's kids. I hope you had a great day. I did. Played tennis at the club tonight. How are you, babe? I'm good. Tired, but good. I never played tennis. You've been playing all my life. Did you think of something you want to ask me? I did. But then I was like, I sound so nosy. <laughs> That's the whole point. Okay. I want to know what your favorite thing to do at home is. Talk to you on Skype. <laughs> you just made me smile so big. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Your smile is gorgeous. Thank you. So is yours. Come on, you must have more. <laughs> I thought we were taking turns. Oh. Okay. Do you trim your pussy? Yeah. Or do you not need to because you don't have much hair? <laughs> <laughs> I have enough. <laughs> Your turn. Have you ever done extreme sports? Not really. Done zip line. Would you ever? Depends. Which one? Skydiving. Fuck no. <laughs> you want to? Yeah.
Good luck. Zip lining was enough. I always watch them do it in California. I did zip line in Vegas two years ago. I did it in New Hampshire. I was in Vegas last month. Really? It's boring, except for circus, circus and zip line. I love to gamble. I'm going to bars. Two things you can't do, so that's why it's boring. Yeah, probably. Your turn. Do you masturbate? No. Too fake. What? It's not like real sex. Well, of course, but everyone does it. I don't. Maybe you're too young. <laughs> I think girls start later than guys, too. Probably. Did you win today? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, can't type. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm on a couch. When are you getting a smartphone? October 21st. Why so long? My birthday present. It's part of it. Can't you ask for an early birthday? I'm going to ask for it sooner, though, since it's an upgrade. <laughs> yeah iPhone? My mom better not play me like that. No Galaxy. Then we can video chat. Yep. I can't wait. <laughs> me too. Then I can finally see your cute face for reals. Yep. And I can see yours. Sure can. I would love that. Me too. What are you going to do this weekend? Nothing really fun. My mom's dragging me shopping with her tomorrow. I like shopping for me, not for her. Can't you get some stuff? Why can't you both shop? Yeah, she's getting me some stuff. She needs more for her because she's going on a business trip and she wants new luggage and a couple of outfits. Are you going with her? No, I thought I was, but... I'd miss too much school. When is it? She leaves Thursday and comes back Tuesday. So you will stay home for five days yourself? No, just till Sunday afternoon. I'm going to my friend Laura's Sunday to Tuesday. I should come see you on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Would you really want to? Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. It'd be cool. But are we getting burgers? Yeah, I would. Sure, sure. Yep, you're chill. I like you. Thanks. Remember, you said you would think about it when I asked you to take one more pick with two fingers crossed. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I would owe you that. I can do it Monday. Would you really do it for me? Yeah, I would. I did the other. You just didn't believe me. That's why I got mad. I do. Just not a hundred percent. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. Once you do this one with two fingers crossed, I will feel better. We can move on. But at first I just thought you were being a dick. Not at all. And I will DEF come see you if you send that pic. Cool. Could I stay at your house? Sure. It's just me and her. Wanna watch movies? Wait. You and who? Me and my mom who live there. And she's gone. Right. Okay. So, I have the whole house to myself. But are you sure you are comfortable with me staying with you? Since you barely know me. Yeah, unless you start being a dick about stuff. <laughs> but I really don't think you're that way. I'm not. Totally chill. <laughs> me too.
Maybe I'll come down Friday night and leave Sunday. Okay. Bring pizza. <laughs> You're going to make me get pizza after driving three hours to see you? Please. Whatever works. Or we can go out and get it once I arrive. Now I can be nice and make you something. If you want. I can cook a couple of things. Either way, no biggie. Seeing you is my main priority. I'm excited to see you too. We can watch movies. Go for burgers on Saturday. And figure out Saturday night. Awesome. Do you like scary or funny movies? I like good movies. Doesn't matter what type. Cool. I don't go see stupid movies. <laughs> me either. I just find ones that interest me. Even indie films. My dad watches those. Some are good. Awesome. I gotta go to bed. Beat. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. You too. Oh. So you don't like watching then? Because it's still seeing someone hurt. Even if they deserved it. I've been in two fights and felt bad after I kicked their ass. But it had to be done. Wish I see it. <laughs> Seen. We hit it off when I meet you. I am going to want to be intimate with you. <sighs> Are you sure? Or just fucking with me? Of course I'm sure. I'm very attracted to you. How do you feel about all that? I don't know. It's not like I never did it. And it'd be fun with you, probably. And you're hot. I know, you've done it. But are you affectionate? I'm not clingy. But yeah, I'm affectionate during it. The whole point of affection is to be affectionate, not during sex. That's what affection is. Sure. Yep. You're chill. I like you. Thanks. Smiley face. Remember you said you would think about it when I asked you to take one more pick with two fingers crossed? Lol. Yeah. I guess I would owe you that. I can do it Monday. Would you really do it for me? Yeah, I would. I did the other. You just didn't believe me. That's why I got mad. I do. Just not 100%. Okay. Smiley face. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. Once you do this, one with two fingers crossed, I will feel better and can move on. But at first, I just thought you were being a dick. Not at all. And I will def come to see you if you send that pic. Cool. Could I stay at your house? Sure. It's just me and her. Wanna watch movies? Wait, you and who? Me and my mum who live to care. And she's gone. Right, okay. So I have the whole house to myself. But are you sure you're comfortable with me staying with you? Since you barely know me? Yeah, unless you start being a dick about stuff. Haha. -ha. But I don't really think you're that way. I'm not. Totally chill. Me too. Maybe I'll come down Friday night and leave Sunday. Okay. Bring pizza, lol. LOL! You're gonna make me get pizza after driving three hours to see you? Please, lol. Whatever works. Or maybe go out and get it once I arrive? No, I can be nice and make you something. If you want, I can cook a couple things. Either way, no biggie. Seeing you is my main priority. I'm excited to see you too. We can watch movies, go for burgers on Saturday, and figure out Saturday night. Awesome. Do you like scary or funny movies? <laughs> I like good movies. Doesn't matter what type. Cool. I don't go see stupid movies. Me either. I just find ones that interest me. Even indie films.
My dad watches those. Some are good. Awesome. I gotta go to bed. I'm beat. I'm beat. Lol. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Smiley face. So you don't like watching then? Because it's still seeing someone hurt, even if they deserved it. I've been in two fights and felt bad after I kicked their ass. But it had to be done. Wish I see it, lol. Scene. If we hit it off when I meet you, I'm going to want to be intimate with you. Smiley face. Are you sure or just fucking with me? Of course I am sure. I'm very attracted to you. How do you feel about all that? I don't know. It's not like I never did it. And it would be fun with you, probably. And you're hot. I know you done it, lol. But are you affectionate? I'm not clingy, lol. But yeah, I'm affectionate during it. The whole point of affection is to be affectionate, not during sex. That's what affection is. Well, I was with my ex, but not all... OMG, I need you every second. Well, that's different. I mean, touching and kissing and hugging. Oh, yeah, I'm into that. Have you ever thought a guy was hot and wondered what size his dick was? <laughs> Low, yeah, a lot. Do you think dick size matters? Nope. X was decent. Didn't know what the fuck he was doing. What size was he? About six. Do you think a guy's dick can be too small for you? Lol. Lol, I don't know. I'm not a dick expert. There are some guys out there who are like three inches, and that's ridiculous. OMG, no way. It's like wimpy. You can't be a real man with a three-inch dick. Lol. I'm not that big, but I know how to satisfy a girl. Good to know. But yeah, I really want to be intimate with you. I think it would be fun. It's been a minute for me. What? It's been a while. How long? About three months. Okay. What about you? Two months. Cool. Are you in middle? Grr. No, I'm the one with two fingers. On right? Yes. Girl in the middle has two up. She has one. Okay, tough to see. I'm on my way to dance class. Hit me up later if you want to talk. Okay. Any selfies? Do you have pretty feet? LOL, yeah. I don't have homeless feet. Have you told anyone about me? No. Have you told anyone about me? No. Do you have nice feet? Pretty normal. Ask me more shit. Anything you want. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Lol, I'm in class. Okay. I don't know what to ask. It's okay. You ask me too. Are you excited to meet me? Yeah, a lot. Are you? Yes. Tell me why you're excited, smiley face. I'm excited to see you. To actually chill and not be all trying to just text no. And to see if we are into each other in real life. Can I trust you not to tell anyone at this point? Seriously, Jeff? I don't want to hurt you. I get everything that you said. I wouldn't do that to you because I'm not an asshole. I know I was scared to get in trouble too, even if it's not the same. I know you don't want to hurt me, but if anyone knows about it, I could be in serious trouble and even go to jail. So that's why no one can know. Yes, it's possible if another person knows that they wouldn't tell anyone, but it's possible they would, so that's why nobody can know. No one knows. I didn't even tell my friends my mom was going anywhere. Okay, but can I trust you not to say anything going forward, smiley face? Yes, Jeff, I pinky swear promise. Thank you. Just had to hear it, Bailey. I understand, Jeff. Sorry, I don't always get what you mean right away. As much as I want to meet you, I am also nervous about the fact that I could be breaking the law with serious consequences. Sorry, I'm paranoid. For meeting me? No. Potentially having sex. 
Not saying we will, but that's where breaking the law comes in. It's never been anyone's business who I fuck. And you don't even know if you want to have sex with me. You know, this is not a pleasant thought, but what if we dated and then got into a fight and you press charges against me for sex with a minor, I would be fucked. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but theoretically it could. Oh my god, you totally think I'm a major asshole. Jeff, seriously? Now I'm stressing out. I would never do that. I think I need to meet you to get over this paranoia. You have no idea shit I've done on my own or with someone that I would never tell anyone. You're not an asshole. I know I'm not an asshole. I said theoretically. Please separate yourself from this. I would say this to anyone your age. It's not you. It's the situation. Okay, so let me understand. I think after I meet you, it should be fine. Sure. You want to meet me because we have fun chatting, right? And all we're doing is talking. Yes. You still there? Sorry, my mum was calling me. And you're worried that we might or might not have sex. And you don't even know if you want to. You don't get it. Is that what you mean by theoretical? Let me explain. Have you ever heard of a prenuptial agreement in marriage? No. Sometimes, when people get married, they sign an agreement. Usually, someone rich and someone not so rich. It protects the rich person in case of a divorce. When the not so rich person gets divorced, they can't sue for 50% of the rich person's assets, which is commonplace. It's a shitty situation to have to sign this agreement when getting married. But people do it in case there's a problem. So theoretically, the rich person could be screwed over if there is a potential divorce and the prenup protects him. Our situation is similar, but there's no agreement. The way it is similar is that I have to trust you throughout the whole time we're together, potentially not to reveal our relations. If we had sex, it is right now I trust you and I am sure I will meet you but I can't predict the future. Shit happens. People change. People turn on one another. I've been around. I know shit can happen. And you would have to be an idiot to not think it's possible. I'm getting what you are saying. I'm not a dick. I wouldn't do that. But I understand why you keep asking. Theoretically just means that something is possible whether highly likely or not. And again, I'm not saying you would do this to me. But anything's possible. I understand. Seriously, there are assholes in the world. Especially rich people and their money. Do you know what statutory rape is? I wouldn't sign an agreement. No, I don't. There is no agreement to sign in our situation. I meant if I was marrying a rich guy. Then he may not marry you, but that's how it is. Lots of celebrities do it. And if you don't sign it, it makes you look selfish. Like you're marrying the guy for his money. That's how it looks in the public eye. But statutory rape is me fucking you. That's statutory rape. Punishable by up to 20 years in prison. I was reading about it. I think you should too. But what if I want to and I'm okay with it? It's still a felony. If the police found out, it wouldn't matter what you said. Again, I read up on it. That's dumb. Risking 20 years in prison is a big deal. I can make my own choices. That's why I'm worried. I wish there wasn't a law. Well, I'm not saying anything. The law needs to worry about real crime, not if two people want to have sex. Doesn't matter. We can't change it. It's stupid still. Let's say you lied about your age and told me you were 18 and we had sex and the police found out. I could still be arrested and convicted. This is also part of the law. Consent means nothing. Lack of knowledge means nothing. That is really dumb. So listen, Bailey. Can you understand why I'm paranoid? Yes. I still want to meet you, which is harmless, but... I want to meet you too. I can't help but think about being attracted to you and wanting to fuck you. So it's all in the same. I think we most likely would want to be intimate if we met. Do you really want to? So that's the challenge. Do I want to what? Okay, this is probably the dumbest question. Don't judge. Okay. But honest, 
Do you really want to have sex with me or are you just talking? I can't answer that. Because I already know what I think. I want to meet you, then I will know. What's your answer? I think you just want to see what I'd say. No, just want your true feeling. If you don't know, neither do I. You said you already know what you think, lol. That's what I meant, that you just say it to see what I would say. Do you want to have sex, W me? I guess when I meet you, I'll know too. Okay. Will you promise me you will never tell anyone about us, not even your best friend or a relative, nobody? Will you promise? I promise. I'm not telling anyone. Not ever. And especially not your mom. Lol, oh fuck no. Just say the words, you will never tell anyone about us. Never her. Wait, just say, you will never tell anyone about us having sex. I will never tell anyone about us having sex. I promise. Are you sure? Yes, Jeff, I'm sure. Okay. I can be there Saturday afternoon. Stay with you that night and go home Sunday. That would be great. And I really appreciate you listening to me and respecting my thoughts and word yees. And it means a lot. I do. I'm sorry I didn't really understand before. Do you know why it's such a serious crime? No. Because adults have been known to manipulate and brainwash minors into sex. A minor sometimes isn't old enough or mature to make certain decisions. Something could be promised to the minor in exchange for sexual favors. A minor is called a minor because they can't always make a logical decision. Anyway, I have to go. Chat later. Sorry, my mom was bugging. Hey cutie, what's your address? Question mark, question mark. Did you chicken out? Oh my god, I'm a complete fucktard. I had to help my mom's friend tonight. They had an emergency, so I came to watch their horrible kids. I knocked out with them. I'll be home by two tomorrow. I'll message you if you forgive me. My iPod is dying. I'll charge a message. Sorry. I'm really sorry, Jeff. I'm back home if you want to come over. I can't make it. I forgive you, though. It's okay. Maybe another time. Thanks. I really am sorry. No prob. What are you doing today? Dealing with a plumbing issue. That sucks. Yep. So what happened? You didn't have your iPod yesterday to respond? I did, but didn't see your message. And the kids I had to watch were fucking monsters. And I saw your message on wire too, but so late. And I knocked out with the kids. Oh, because, oh my god, they're fucking monsters. I'm glad I'm on the pill. I'm never having kids. I still want to see you. I still want to see you too. I'm waiting for a plumber to arrive. So my kitchen and bathroom sinks are clogged. That sucks. I remember when our washing machine backed up and flooded the den. If he's done early and you want to come, let me know. I'm still very tempted, even if I come later. The problem is, I will have to see if the kennel has any room for my dog. What kind of dog? German Shepherd. Aww. Hey Bailey, I have to admit, I'm still nervous about this whole thing. Let me ask you something. Is it a big dog? Let's say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you are under 16, nobody can know about us. I just can't take that chance. I was thinking about that, and I wouldn't even tell my friends. So I was thinking, maybe I could tell my mom that I'm volunteering at school for my community service hours. We have to have it 40 at least before graduation. I don't know, you take a train or meet. You would really do that? Take a train up here? I guess it would be kind of like long distance. Yeah, I would. I am impressed and intrigued by it. I used to take the metro link from LA to San Diego. I love train rides. Well, you should look into it. We're the train station. It's near here somewhere, not super close. The only problem is it would be difficult for you to come here when your mom is home, because then you couldn't stay overnight. It's a long ride to just stay a couple hours. Two to three hour train ride. 
Yeah, but she goes away. And I guess if we really like each other, we could figure out something. You're tight, right? She calling. Let me know if you want to come. You can bring the dog. If he doesn't shit in the house. Let me know when you're done with your call. Okay. I'm back. Where is mom? Dallas. Okay. So do you know what I mean by 16 is age of consent? At 16, I can drive. No. And decide who I date. It means that an adult who has sex with someone under 16 is breaking the law. And everyone can shut the fuck up. It's complicated by I was researching it. And they have close in age laws too. Like if you are have sex with someone within two years of your age, it's not breaking law. Okay. The only thing that can prevent me from getting arrested is if we got married, lol. Laughing my ass off. We could always elope, haha. <laughs> I can get married at 16, but I can't fucking buy vodka. You could get married at 13. Really? Yes, that's my point. Holy shit, that's crazy. If you were married to me right now, then I wouldn't be breaking the law by fucking you. It's crazy, but it would be our... Seriously, that would be something to remember in my life. We don't have to tell anyone, but if it got leaked out, I would at least be protected. And yes, it would be something no other 14-year-old does. Haha. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I know divorce isn't hard. My parents' divorce was easy. I'm cracking up, but I'd do it. As long as we don't have to tell anyone. We would never tell. Okay. Once you're 16, it would be fine. Okay, so at 16 we can decide if we really want to be together or go our own ways. Well, no, I'm saying once you're 16, it is legal to have sex with me and people couldn't rat us out and cause drama if they knew. Oh, okay. Even though we're still protected when you're 16, it's not a good idea to tell people. There's always someone who will want to fuck us over. Yeah, I wouldn't tell anyone. That's truth for sure. People can be dicks. Yes, because think about it. Someone sees a 44-year-old dude with a 14-year-old girl and will think I am brainwashing you or blackmailing you or some shit. They will think something is morally wrong, so they will not mind their own fucking business and want it to stop. Yeah, stupid, but I know they were always haters. Exactly. You're being smart by thinking that. I learned that. Don't trust anyone for the most part. But you can trust me, smiley face. Lol, I'd hope so. If we're getting married, lol. Believe me, I wouldn't want to go through getting married and all that if I didn't have to. I wish we could just date and not have to worry. I know. But unfortunately, we can't. It's stupid, but I understand. I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. I know, and I wouldn't ever want that to happen to you. I can be locked up for 20 years. I'd find out who said something and fuck up their world. 20 years in jail. Shit. It scares me. That's why I was reading about it. Yeah, I get it. I know you said you like to read. I do too, especially when it's protecting my life. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing my ass off. Is there a way I can hear your voice? Yeah, call me. I just tried... On my cell, lol. You can't do a phone call on Skype? I can't talk on it, lol. It rings, but only I'll hear you. Because you're using iPod? Yep. It's an old one my dad got that was fixed up for some apps. Can I text you on phone going forward? Yeah. Getting pissed about plumber. Handsome based. Love that, ha. Huh? Thanks. You know I do. Was doing more research. Just found out that you would have to get written consent by your mom to get married under 18. Fuck. Fuck. I have some ideas on this. Can talk later. Okay. Still want me to see you? Yeah. You still want to see me? Fuck yes. Can be a towned nine-ish. 
can pick pizza. What's your address? Blank Road. <laughs> you got booze. My mum has some vodka, but no rum. Smiley face. Are you on your way? Can we drink it? Yes. Lol, I'll tell her the bottle broke. Lol, you got OJ or Cran? A little OJ, no Cran. What you doing? Cleaning the kitchen so you don't talk shit if it's a mess. <laughs> can't wait to see you. I can't wait either. How long do I have to get ready? Around nine, still. Okay. Call in a pizza at your favorite place. I will pick it up. Text me address. What kind you like? I like pepperoni. What about you? Same. Okay. Let me know when you're 20 minutes away. I don't want cold pizza. You just want pizza or wings too? Small pie and buff wings. Medium lol. I'm hungry. Sure. Okay. Text me when I should call. It's Planet Pizza. 20. Okay. Calling them now. I got a small pizza and six wings. I put it for pickup for Bailey. It's $20. Got it. Do they have med? I'm hungry. Lol, nope. I thought so. We always get large. They have small and large. You want me to call back? Yes. Okay. Fucking picky, lol. You said small. Hungrier now. You said medium, which was perfect. Also thought more wings. Get large pizza. Lol, OMG, you can have all the wings except one. Smiley face. I got the pizza large. Now it's 23 something. Smiley face with sunglasses. Smiley face with no smile. Pizza emoji. Margarita emoji. Yay, food. I got hungry too, so I ate a bagel. And I'm still hungry. Hey, have you got it yet? Hey, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Did your plumber get there yet? He's not. He's fucking late. Oh, my God. I've, I've been, uh, well, like, they just called and uh, said that they're running late, so. Whatever. Oh, uh, wait, you know what? They're, they're calling me on the other line. Hold on one second. All right. They're on their way now. Oh, okay. It's nice to hear your voice, though. It's nice to hear you, too. I didn't think you would be, like, that deep. I thought it would be, like, I don't know, a little bit lighter. You really? Know? Yeah, you have, like, a way deep voice. What's that? You have, like, a way deep voice. Like, deep. Like, er. Yeah, well, I don't know. Do you like it? I do like it. I like it a lot. A lot of people say that they like my voice. Me too. You have a really nice voice. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so, like I was saying, um, well, as soon as, they, as soon as they call, I gotta go, but um, probably have a couple minutes. Okay. So, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, I'm doing some laundry. Waiting to see if you're going to show up. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do because it's kind of ugly out here. But we'll see. I might just watch a movie or something. And yeah. I'm eating pizza. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Since somebody won't bring me cheeseburgers. I'd bring you pizza if I could. Yeah. So do you think you still might be able to come? Do you think what? Do you think you still might be able to come? Um. I don't know. I mean, I. It depends on on a bunch of things. It's just so. I mean, it's so last minute. Um, I know. I know it's a it's a good opportunity because you 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 know your your mom's away, but um, yeah. I just don't. I don't think it can happen this weekend. Um, 
you know, like it, I know it's not your fault, but I mean, like if if I was if I was able to talk to you yesterday, I might have been able to yeah, plan things a little differently, That's and it's not a big deal. That's okay. So big, yeah, it's a big deal. Um, but you know, I I can't bring my dog. He's he's too he's too high maintenance. Um, I just I usually just put him in a kennel when I when I go away somewhere. But, um, I mean, I, I, I want to. I mean, if anything changes, I, I can let you know. But, um, okay. Well, I, would, I won't make any plans yet. And if you find out in a couple hours if you can come, then let me know. And then if you can't, then I'll go ahead and make plans. Deal? Yeah, you know, don't, don't like, I don't, yeah, don't, don't. Well, I, like, know, I know it was my fault you know, yesterday not really being able to get a hold of you. But, um... Don't you know, worry about it. No, it's, but it's cool. So, I'll just, you know, my plans are in here anyhow. I mean, in Fairfield. So, it's not like I have to, like, make, you know, major, like, decisions. I'll just go. Yeah, you're stuck in Fairfield, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, if you can, that would be great. If you can't, I understand. Just let me know in a couple hours. All right. I'd love so, to see you. I really would. I mean, I, I'd love to see you too, but I hope you understand. I, I hope do, you understand. I, I understand. I mean, you know, yeah, but I'm, I'm disappointed, like, but I knew, like, when I saw your message, I was like, fuck. You know, but it was like, no, no, but, and I was like, you know, it was like, because my mom texted me at the last minute, and she's like, one of the lady's uh, sister's um, husband's had a heart attack, so they had to go to the hospital. And um, they didn't want to bring the little kids because they're fucking monsters. And so I was like, yeah, I'll go help. And I didn't know it would be that long. And then it just it was just really crazy. And they run a lot and they shit a lot. So, and then when I yeah. saw it, I was, no, what like, I was, my heart like sank. I, I was like, oh, my God. And I was like, no, yeah. No, so, don't, yeah, don't worry about that. But what I was saying was I, I was actually not even – referring to that when I, I said I hope you understand what I was saying was I hope you understand that like why I'm nervous about the whole thing about meeting you and everything and, and the, the whole thing about breaking the law that, that is what I'm, what I'm most concerned about I know. Uh, and, and I don't want you to I mean I just want you to understand I mean I know that you probably don't know much about it but I mean it's just something that I've been like reading about and every time I read about it it like fucks with my brain and, and fucks with my mind even more you know like is is this like worth it is it you know yeah. not, that, not that you're not worth it it's I like know. it's the whole worth it you know yeah. what I mean so like it's risk I get but it. I know yeah. I'm glad you get it because yeah. you have to get it in order to yeah. I get it to, I do I don't have to like it, but I get it. Right, of course, of course. You don't have to like it, and I don't either. It's like it sucks, but the people that, that take advantage of it, and that's why they have laws. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, you sound so cute on the phone. Thank you. I mean, I'm, and, and I'm sure you're even cuter in person. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope um, you come. I wish there was a way. I mean, I don't. I mean, I just can't even think. You know, if you came, I mean, if you're nervous about being here, we don't have to be here. We could just go somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I would love to see you, and you're right. It's a good time. And I don't know when she'll go away again. I mean, sometimes it's just like overnight. So I don't know. Yeah. You know, this was just like perfect. But I knew that. You know, I just knew we hadn't really got a chance to talk, so I wasn't sure. Yeah. So. I mean, it, I could, you know, if if I, you know, I, I mean, technically I could, I could probably still come down and just leave my dog here and then just come back later tonight. Okay. Um, you know, I could do something like that. Okay. Uh, but so that's, that's my possibility. I know it's, it's like a lot of driving to, yeah. for to not that long, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see. Well, yeah, but maybe then, you know, if you're here, 
then we can just, I don't know, then at least you would know yes. and then go back and not have to worry. I would know what? That I'm me. <laughs> and that you are who you yeah. are. <laughs> and that you aren't going to get, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to, I mean, if I have a way to get, I don't know. I mean, I would feel really funny going out there for the first time. You know what I mean? I thought about that. I'm like, okay, he's worried. What if I went out there? But I feel uncomfortable doing that for the first time. And that's why I, oh, no, no. That's why I understood what you meant. Because I was like, well, I, I guess if I did it, I would feel uncomfortable too. And I, you know, so then I try to understand you, your part more. Um, yeah, but but I mean it's different. I mean you're uncomfortable yeah. for a different reason. Right. Now. You know what right. I mean? I, I'm un, I'm uncomfortable because it's just because it's like breaking the law. Like mm-hmm. if I was to like you know, have sex with you, which I know I could go out there and you, you don't have to have sex, but like if it happened, yeah, you know it it that that's the part that I'm like afraid of and, and breaking the law and, yeah. and, and you know, consequences are pretty they're pretty harsh and. Mm-hmm. And I know I'll be attracted to you. And, and, I know, because uh, I'm already attracted to you. And I, I, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. So, I mean, I know it's so fucking crazy to, to even talk about, like, getting married to avoid these issues. Mm-hmm. But I know. I was like, uh, is he fucking bullshitting me? I was like, no way. And I, I was like, I have to look this up, because I never heard of that. But I knew a girl in my old school, her sister was 15 and went to Las Vegas and got married. Because she was... Yeah, I mean, the people do that to, like, mm-hmm. get, like, a, you know, like, a, like a simple marriage. You mm-hmm. just go, it's cheap, and, and you don't have to, like, pay, pay a lot. So, yeah, but I mean, you can, you can get married anywhere, but it's just, maybe it's just, I don't know, it's, like, kind of more romantic or, you know, yeah. kind of... Thing to do, I, but I'm like so not the most romantic person. What? I said I'm like totally not the most like romantic person. I like more fun, like like I know like hugging and kissing. I like all that, and I like the flowers. But uh, I'm not one of those bitches that's gonna be like, oh, it's Friday. You didn't bring me flowers. I'm like, it's Friday. Bring me a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's fine. I mean, I like to be romantic sometimes, but I mean, mm-hmm. you know, it just depends. It depends, like, you know, what you do. And, and I mean, we have, me and you have some obstacles, you know, and yeah. limitations. You live the far and you live with your mom. I it's know. like crazy, crazy stuff. But I, um, I, I just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't do stuff like this. I don't, especially... Especially with like somebody like you, I mean, I, I personally like if you take age out of it, I think you're great and and you just I, I, I love talking to you and, and everything. But yeah, the age thing again, it's just it's there and you know it's the back of my head, you know. So know. so not common and so not um, it, it's looked it's it's frowned upon, you know. I mean like. Any of my friends knew that I was seeing a girl that's 14 or well, 13, 14. I mean, they would, they would fucking like look at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that's crazy. You're like, you know, flirting with like death, a death sentence, you know? Yeah. Because of like the, you know, breaking the law, but. I understand. Okay. I'm glad you do. Um, I will. Maybe we can talk later. I'll, I'll um, I'll, I'll text you later, and let you know for sure. All right. Well, I hope so. And you can call or text me if I don't pick up um, my phone. Sometimes I like I'll be like walking around and I just put it down, so I don't like freak out that I'm like ignoring you. I really, again, I'm so sorry about yesterday. So I do feel. Really no, don't worry. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it. I mean, you're. I know you're not doing anything on purpose, and you don't owe me anything either because. You know, we don't. Yeah, but that's still not cool. That's, yeah, but it's still not cool, and we're still talking. Yeah. And, you know, so it was yeah. so my bad. Okay. Don't worry about it. I forgive you. Okay, thank you. Well, I hope I hear from you really, and you know, I hope you're able to come out. So just let me know, okay? All right, I'll talk to and you. And I'm so glad I got to hear your voice. Me too. Me too. I mean, it's like wow. I know. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> We should have done this a while ago. Shut up, yeah. Okay, bye.
you then I'll talk to you later on. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Ted. Bye-bye. No, because it's really dark out. So. Oh. How long did it take you to get here? I don't know, it took two and a half hours. That's a long drive. Yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you're gonna be hot? No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll settle into it. <laughs> okay. So, kind of pitchy, guys. Just. Oh. The, um,. The small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one, so I didn't, I didn't know that. Like you said, small. I thought it'd be like a really small one. Yeah. I said, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I am. I'm fine. I've just never done this before. I know. Have I, you? No, not really. I mean. Are you telling me the truth? I mean, I've met girls on mine, but I I don't like come like this far to like meet someone. I don't know why. I, you know, it's kind of crazy, huh? It is crazy. Yeah. Why did you let me come? If you're so nervous. It seems like a good idea, and you seem nice. Why do you think I came? I think I know. It's not the only reason. It's not the reason. What's the reason? And I just, you know, been talking to you for a while, and you seem like really cool to hang out with, and you know, someone that I'd like to meet, and I wanted to check out the situation, you know. Well, here we are. Yeah. Here we are. So, let's deal with this whole contract thing, because I'm just going to be thinking about it the whole time. Until we get that out of the way. Um, let's, let's see. And we can, like, talk about it. Okay. There's plates behind you. Can I grab one? Huh? There's plates behind you. Can I grab one? Do you want a water or anything? No. Okay. Man, well, I got this for in case we want right, to I'll, I'll grab a water. All right, it will have a bottle. Do you want to eat at the table? What do you want to do? Um, no, I'm going to stay here. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, yeah, I expected it to be like two and a half hours, so. You're from the Boston area, is it? Yeah, can I wash my hand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have some family that lives up there. It's pretty nice. Do you? Yeah, I've been to a uh, Canyon Hall. Where's your family? Like, what, what part of Boston? I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Boston's so confusing. It's a uh, wicked confusing. Wicked confusing. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll try to be cool. Oh, it's okay. We'll work on it. I mean, you look great. Thanks. You just look different than what I, I than like in the pictures. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I expected you. To have dark hair. Did you? My hair just it lightens up in the summer. And, and no, I'm not saying. I mean, I think you look <laughs> you don't great. Like it? I think you look great. I'm just saying, like you, you look different. Yeah, than than, uh, than I thought. Yeah. But uh, no, nothing wrong with but that. Well, you never can tell with online things, you know. What about me? Um, do, do I look different? I mean, you look different. I'm not saying better or worse, just different. <laughs> I have cupcakes too, if you want. Let's see, did you make them? Look at those, do you think I made those? Mm -mm. I have no idea. No. Do you want to use plates or do you want to just Whatever them? you want, we're pretty casual here. Okay. I, I'm like too nervous to eat. <laughs> well, you already ate, didn't you? 
Yeah, I did. I was just wa I was wondering if you were gonna be like how would how would you be? Like would you be nervous? Would you be like totally like <laughs> Like like you've done this before. Oh, you know, definitely haven't done this before. <laughs> like I don't know, you just seemed very very like you didn't seem nervous at all uh, when I talked to you and just. In well, you know, it's different when you're talking to someone online versus like person. coming to their house I and know, meeting them. I, know. I just gotta take take something. Uh, this isn't drugs. It's just a. Uh, yeah, no, by all means. Here, drink water. It's something that I take when I before I. What have you been doing all day? I'm just hanging out, watching TV, Netflix, and stuff. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want me to check? Somebody here? No. So what kind of pizza do we have tonight? Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who are you? You tell me first. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. Who's her? Uh, I, I, I want to know who you are. I want to know a little bit more about you first. Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. Tell me who you are. Is you know, I, I didn't know there would be other people here. Well, what did you expect to happen here tonight, Jeff? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever? No. So you drove two and a half hours? Sure did. From Boston? <sighs> Who are you? To come here. Are you her dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you her dad? I will get to that in a minute. Uh -huh. Go ahead, have a bite. Wow. I haven't done anything wrong. How old are you? What does it matter? I'd like to know. I haven't done anything wrong. Coming to meet somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming the law? Coming to meet a young girl? Yeah, is that against the law? It is after this chat. How? Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? <laughs> Let's see if any of this sounds familiar while you enjoy your pizza. I should come see you on Saturday. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. You say, I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. Yep. And then you say, do you trim your blank? Okay. Now you know that this girl is 13, right? Wasn't sure. She's told you. No. That doesn't... And you're what? 37? That doesn't mean anything. You're 37? How old are you? You might as well just tell me because I can find out like that. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are first? I will tell you that in a minute. Because, you know, now you're, you're making me nervous and... You're 44 years old, right? Mm-hmm. Right? As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13-year-old girls like this. Yet I want to. What am I supposed to make of that? Sorry, I'm paranoid. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. But that is where the breaking the law comes from. Right. Punishable up to 20 years. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? Well, the plan on having sex. Do you have them in your car? No. I'm going to find out, so you might as well tell me now. I don't. Go ahead, check the car. You will never tell anyone about us having sex. Are you sure? Okay, I could be there Saturday afternoon. Explain. So Explain I, it to me. Just wanted to come hang out and... It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Okay, is, there, is that against the law to like... To, to have sex with a 13-year-old girl no. when you're 44? Yes, no, it's to against meet, the law. To meet, to meet a girl. That's all I've done. You see how this looks. Okay, but... But, but do you also see that I was pretty apprehensive about the whole sex thing? Well, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't anybody be if they're right. going to try to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? Uh, uh, to be honest with you, yeah. you're not going to believe me, but 
I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're like, you know, law enforcement, but... You think I'm law enforcement? Well, I mean, that's what it, it sounds like. I was thinking about this on the way down. Right. You had two and a half hours to think about it. And, <laughs> and, um, and I, I wasn't going to, I'm not going to risk it. That's, that's what I said. It's not normal for a 44-year-old guy to drive two and a half hours to hang out with a 13-year-old girl. I wanted, I wanted to hang out, see how she was, see if... A 13-year-old girl? How often do you do this sort of thing? <laughs> never done it. You've never done it. So tonight, you just decided, okay, I'm going to drive two and a half hours oh, yeah, down I-95 from Boston yeah, been talking to, her to this house. Yeah, talking to her for a while and she seemed cool to hang out with. I mean, what the You can't find any I had nothing older else. girls? I can, but I had nothing else going on. So you decided you'd just come out and hang out with a 13-year-old girl? Yeah, you can clearly you can clearly see that I'm very apprehensive about that. Let's life. say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, nobody can know about it. I just can't take that chance. What it sounds like here is you're grooming her testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had sex with her so no one would find out to be honest with you like i said when i was on the way down right i was thinking about the whole thing and and even before i left right i was thinking i'm not going to have sex with her unless it's legal so you talk about a plan to make it legal to marry her what right? yeah not like not in two seconds I mean, like... So if you liked her, like, next week or the week after, you'd marry a 13-year-old no, girl? not next week. No. So after just a few days' worth of chatting, you decide you love her? No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. It, you it, want to marry her? What do you mean? You don't know she's 13. I don't know. I was just throwing things out, like, you know, just in case. I, maybe I did like her. Maybe it was, you know... So then you'd marry a 13-year-old girl because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um... After a while, if it if it worked out, yeah. After a while, yeah. Well, like three years of dating. I don't know. A romantic courtship. Maybe. Maybe. So you're cool with all this. You just think this is just fine. Marching here see, to this home. See, I know. See, I know. I know what you. I know what you. You're. Well, what? At what here. else am I supposed to think, Jeff? Do I, I mean? Do I seem like a like a like a dishonest, dirty person? I mean. Do I, do I seem like it to you? This chat seems like it. It seems like chat someone who is 44 chat. years old. Chat is chat. It's chat like... is chat, but showing up is showing up. And guess what, Jeff? You showed up. At a home where you knew a 13-year-old girl would be alone. After a sexually charged conversation online. You come in. Oh, I want to hug you. Yeah, the little girl is nervous. That's you do it with everybody. Yeah. You do that every time you meet a 13-year-old girl. I, I do it when I meet somebody for the first time. Okay. Them. But this somebody is not an adult, Jeff. She's 13. You need to please tell me who you are. I'll tell you who I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to be nice here. I, okay. I, I'm, so am I. But I, you're not answering all my questions. I will. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Chris Hansen. And this is an investigation called Hansen vs. Predator. So if there's anything else you want people to know, anything you want to say, now would be a good time to say it. I can't believe this happened. Did you bring any sort of a marriage contract? No. So what was all that talk about? I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. You, can, you can leave on camera. I you can leave. What do you mean I can leave? You can leave. And then what? That's not up to me. This is up to. Me. It's not up to me. You didn't have to come here, Dino. What do you do for a living, John? I don't want to talk anymore. There's insurance business, right? Cameras rolling. Insurance? I don't want to talk anymore. All right. As I said, you're free to leave. Can you shut it off? I cannot shut it off, no. I mean, what is this? It's an investigation for a television program called Hanson vs. Predator, where we investigate grown people who go online 
and try to create inappropriate illegal relationships with underage children. So unless you have something else to say, now would be a good time to go. I don't have anything else to say. All right, then. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. So the cops here? We'll see. Okay. Or the, uh, if they're here, just bring them in. It'd be best if you went out that way. <sighs> Grab a jacket. This is not for the garage. Is your advice? Yes. You know enough this? Thank you, sir. You all set? Uh, call me in. Cool. I'll be in, uh, three to seven. Okay. The first thing I, I need to do on Detective Kelly Obviously, you deserve the Connecticut Police. Um, just going over your rights with you. You want to speak with me about what happened tonight? Yeah. Okay. He's being recorded, too. Correct. Okay, I just want you to read your, you can read your own rights, and if you understand them, uh, just initial it, and then we're going to go down here to court and do the same kind of a thing, okay? So you have the right to remain silent, you understand that? If I talk to the, any police officer, anything I say can be used against me. I have the right to consult with a lawyer before I answer any questions, and they have a lawyer with me during questioning. Pointed for me if I cannot afford one before I answer any questions. I know that if I answer any questions, I have the right to stop answering at any time. I may stop answering any questions at any time if I wish to talk with a lawyer. I may have him with me during any further questioning. And I'm willing to answer questions and make a statement knowing that I have these rights. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I know and understand what I am doing. I do this freely and voluntarily, and no threats or promises have been made to me. Do you understand those rights? Right. Well, I'm probably going to have to get a lawyer. Okay. So, so we're, we're not, we're not going to discuss what happened to him. Your address again? 1064 on Beacon Street. Brooklyn? Yeah, Brooklyn.
44. Or 44. Don't worry, boy. And rough line. Great completed in school? I got a bachelor's degree. Bachelor. Yeah, so. You're reading right, obviously. Yeah. Just make sure that the chicken scratch, you can read that. You just essentially, you speak, you're agreeing to speak to me. This is you. And I'll be thinking of Kelly. I mean, you're 16 years of education, you can read yes and you can write yes. And you can just sign here and we'll be done with that form. And we could probably just kind of start with what happened this evening. Um, I looked at some of the texts, there's several pages. The text between you and the young female, um, can you just tell me what kind of happened from your standpoint tonight? You're in I just at my home in Brookline and you're corresponding with this younger girl. Um, yeah, I, mean, I was just looking to meet her and I know you're not going to believe me, but I honestly was not planning on having sex with her. I know the texts talk about that, mm -hmm. but it's talk. I mean, I, I wasn't planning on having sex with her unless it was bright and legal to do it. I don't know if I would have or not either, but I was not going to. What do you mean by right and legal to do? No, I mean if if I if I she just she seemed like. She seemed like somebody, you know, that was mature and, you know, somebody that, you know, that would be fun to hang out with. And so I wanted to meet her and find out if, if she was what I thought she was. So how long had you, had you been corresponding with her? Like three weeks, yeah. And how would you meet her? On a chat site. What was that called? Flyer Club. Flyer Club is that, uh, what is that? Is it uh, it's kind a of a hookup site or something? Yeah, it's like chat rooms, but I mean, I don't know if it's like a hookup site. There's just people there that are have all you, the Have you talked to people before? Girls, guys, or yeah. on that particular site? Yeah. Have you talked to younger girls before today or in the last couple of weeks or there? No, not that I know of. What was the interest in this particular girl? Uh, let, me, let me back up a second. Are you, are you married? No. Have you been married? Yeah. Divorced? Yeah. How long? Um, like 10. 10 years like or 10 more? 11 years, yeah. Any kids? No. What was the reason for the dissolution of the marriage? Anything major? Issue with the ex wife? No, no. Or she with you? No, it was, no, it was just a mutual breakup. And how about dating and things since then? Do you have relationships? Have you had any recently? Yeah, I mean, a few here and there. Yeah. What was the last one? I mean, I had a short one over the summer, a couple months. How old was she? 41. The adult woman. Met or chatted with or visited younger girls before? Younger, yes, but I mean, what's your? Well, I don't know. Younger than me is probably in their middle twenties. To from my standpoint, I'm a little bit older than you. But what's younger to you? I mean, yeah, I've dated girls in their thirties and in twenties. 
And I mean, have you? This wasn't, I'm sure, the first time you met a girl who was purportedly 12 or so years old, right? What would you say? I, feel like I said, I'm sure this isn't the first time you either chatted with or met with a girl who was, you know, supposedly 12 years old. I, I believe it was the first time that I know of. It was. Is that what you're saying? It was the first time. I mean, I don't know. You, you may have an issue or a certain fetish or attraction to younger girls. You probably do. Yeah, I've never, I've, I've never met. I've never gone to meet a girl that was a teenager. Never. And why tonight? This Saturday night. It's judged from places in the Boston area. Right? I just had, a, I mean, I had nothing to do. I figured we'd just hang out, and I was just gonna like drive home later tonight. You talked. I know in the text there was like some mention of like a marriage kind. I don't know what your if it's a religious thing or something else. But if what's the deal with the marriage certificate? What was that whole conversation? Yeah, a, a marriage uh, agreement or a contract. Well, I know it was Joni at one time when I said, "Is it in the contract?" I was joking. Was there a mention of like bringing some type. Of, maybe maybe it was in jest, but did you mention bringing some type of marriage contract or something like that? No, it wasn't. No, bringing something. No. Did you no. mention having her sign it, or you signing it, or both of you signing it? I mean, I can go get the the, the paperwork. It's unfortunately it's a. It's thick, but there's some conversation about that. I just want to know. Yeah, there was conversation. Probably. There was conversation about uh, about that. Um, I was just explaining to her that people could get married by just signing a contract, uh, you know, signing you know, marriage do document. I. So, but you're talking about a 12 year old girl, right? Yeah, I think you could, you could 14, probably even 14, but yeah, she said she was 14. But okay. She was 14? I know, it's young. Should I get, maybe I should get, get some of the, the texts that were both clear about what, what age she said, said she was. She said it was in 12. No. No. And 14 is, is that, is that big of a different thing? Like, you're 44? Difference, if it makes a difference to me. Because they're not, neither are legal, you know that. Yeah, right? Yeah. The age of consent is 16, which is, you know, in my mind, yeah, too young also, but you thought she might be 14. a copy of some of the text between the two of you. And this, you said you met her, what, give or take three weeks ago? I think so. You're talking about, you know, blowjobs and oral sex and going on in your life that we even have you, you know, going down this road. Maybe you've always lived like this. I don't know, but it's, um, it's of concern, obviously, to everybody, you know, and 44-year-old guy, and you're talking about 12-year-old girl, and in your mind, maybe she was 14, but it's certainly illegal and, you know, horrible in most people's eyes, right? And I said that, um, you could probably read that in there. And you drive from two and a half hours away to see this girl. 
I didn't think it was against the law to, to you know, meet with somebody and just hang out and talk to them. You, you probably, I mean, I, I don't know. You know is it? Maybe. Is it? To just, like, hang out with somebody? To hang out? If I had, if I had sex with her, yeah, that would be against the law, but they okay, didn't do so that. Okay, so let's just take a step back. So you're, let's just say you never divor- got divorced from your wife, and you had a daughter, you said it was 10 years ago, right? You were thinking you had divorced. So let's just say as a result of that marriage, you had a daughter or a son who was 10, 12, 13 years old. And it's Friday night, and you and your wife, you know, hey, honey, hey, whatever your daughter's name is, Caitlin, we're going to run to, uh, out to dinner and stay out a little bit late. You can stay at home and you come to find out they walk in, there's a 44 year old guy from, uh, you know, 200 miles or 100 and something miles away. Is everybody cool with that? You're cool with that? Well, obviously, at first, at first, no. At first? Yeah, when they first walk in, it's not going to be, it's uh, not going to be cool. But if it was somebody like me, I don't think there's a threat. How do they know what your intention is? You're talking yeah. about blowjobs and picks. Yeah, they don't. Other issues. They're, you're not talking about maybe some common interest of That's music or sports, which is also. I mean, the whole thing would be weird. I think mo- just what everybody would think. I think you actually would too. It, it's it's unhealthy and strange. Like a 44 year old guy. What's he got in touch with, uh, in common with a 12 or 14 year old girl? And why, if you lived in a big metropolitan area, would you drive whatever the distance was two hours away on a Saturday night? Isn't that all speculation? I mean, I mean it's what's like the speculation? I'm looking at this. You're, thing, spec- like you're speculating that I was going to have sex with her tonight. Because that's what you said. I didn't say that. You didn't say that? Well, well no. tell me what you said. Well, we talked about having sex, but that doesn't mean... Isn't that, that, but isn't that strange? It doesn't, doesn't mean I was going to tonight. Well, but, yeah, tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe, maybe next week. Maybe when she's 16. So that, but where's that in the conversation? I don't know, it might be. Did you mention that? No, no, it maybe it did. It might be in there. I mean, I, I, I mentioned that, that I was looking, I looked into, like, the, the uh, laws and stuff about, you know, minors. I was looking into it. I was why, why would you do that? No, because I was going to meet. A minor, and you know, right. to hang out with them. So you knew there was an issue. It was Otherwise, you wouldn't research it. Yeah, but does it, does it? Well, I mean, there's an issue if you do this and this and this. But because, and you know, this is this is just. I, I was looking, you know, I was just like looking down the road, you know, like let's say I did like her and she liked me, you know. Why not? I mean, but this is somebody you've never met before. I know. I was just, I was just thinking out loud, looking at the, the big picture. That's all. Doesn't mean I was going to like do what I was going, to, what, you know, what I was, what I was. Is that, is that, is that like your, you know, lack of a better description, like your cup of tea, like you want some very young girlfriend or bride? No. So is that like some fantasy you no. have? No. Which is fine if that's what you, your fantasy is. I just want to no. know where you're coming from. You know, I feel like liking to, particularly to her, and she happened to be. This is through all, like, you know, chatting or texting, right? Exactly. Somebody you never even met. Correct. So f- for the sake of talking, it could have been, it wasn't, but it could have been me tech posing as this girl. You wouldn't know who you're talking could about. Could have been, yeah. It's not like you saw her or spent time with her. Well, that's why I came down, is to, to see if I had a connection with her. Okay. If, if, if you, what was your name again? It's Detective Kelly. If, 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 if I, I mean, if you read all the text, I don't know if you read all, all I, I did not, and I probably can't digest them all right now, sure. but I'm, I'm starting to try to look here. I'm sure. Good. But if you if you read a lot of it, the exchanges between me and her, I was always um, aware and scared of any consequences if I was to do something wrong, like if I was to have sex with her. I would I, I and and to be honest, yeah, of course, you know, like from what I saw, she's you know beautiful and everything, but I. I was not going to risk 
I was not going to risk anything by having sex with her. I just wanted to meet her and hang out with her, and I was going to go home. You were going to meet her, hang out. I with can't her trust any. I can't trust anybody. And obviously now, you know, even more so. But um, how do you think? How do you think we and she feel? Well, see, I, I, I get it. I, I get it. You know, you guys. We're trying to protect the innocent and the vulnerable, right? Yeah, but just, just like when you were that him. age and I was that age, you wouldn't want some guy, you know, attacking he's, you. If he's dangerous, yeah. I, of course not. Or, or maybe he just has bad intentions. When you were 12 or 14 years old, if there was some guy in your life or appeared in your life who's in his 40s, is talking about having sex with you and different things. Isn't it your parents and the police and the school system's job to kind of protect you from that person? And sometimes if you're not being like totally honest with your parents or you know community people, we are, we are the only alternative sometimes we have is to do like sting type operations like this, but we never catch anybody. Because you're not going to tell anybody. You're so paranoid about it, you're researching the statutes. Because you know it's wrong. Right? Right. And, when and I'm I, sure in here there's probably conversations with and a girl it. about, you didn't tell anybody about this, right? Or something like that. Because you're afraid of the kind. And, and you didn't go when the parents were home. If it's, if it's wonderful, then, yeah, if your parents are home, that's great. I'd love to meet them. No. Your parents are not home, right? Kind of thing. They're away. They're not coming home. Whatever. You with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Yes. I just and I think this probably goes back a long time. This did not happen overnight. I'm a little bit older than you. You know, whatever my, you know, makeup is, physiologically and emotionally and every other way, it didn't start last week. So you probably had these fantasies, desires, uh, interests, probably your whole life, actually. Or until you, came, you know, became an adolescent or something. Fantasies about what? what I'm assuming young, younger women. And maybe as you got older, like, you wanted to stay in that realm. Like, oh, the younger girls, I like them better for whatever reason. You, I mean, you would have to tell me what the attraction is. Uh, it, it's never happened before. It's never. Well, we're talking like 12 years old. It's like sixth, seventh grade. You know what I mean? It's, uh, a, it's a young human being. You keep saying 12. Uh, well, you, uh, you want me to use your term and say 14? I, I mean, I know that they're both young, but it's a little bit, yeah, different. Is it, is it being a teenager? Is that the big hump that you need to hear? Like, okay, she's a teenager. She's 13, she's not 12. She's 14, she's not 12. That's two years old, yeah. Yeah, still two years under the, the age of majority, right? Certainly not, you know, worldly or mature enough to consent to anything. Right? Doesn't have the legal right to do it, never mind. Because why? Because they're very young, so they need to be protected. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why, why, if you thought I came down there to have sex, why didn't you wait and see if that happened? Why would I want to put that girl that was in the house through any kind of a horrible experience that could get really out of hand really quickly? Okay, I get it. No offense. I got you, buddy. There was like some, some, several sex. cops there and other able-bodied guys. You'd be in probably some kind of pain at the end of it because if you've got maybe your clothes up and you're trying to grab her, we come in not knowing what you're capable of. I know. Why well, not do it like a, as much as we can as a gentleman? You're seated. Chris Hansen speaks to you. You're free to go. You know, you, you, you comp you're compliant. We were, you know, didn't throw you on the ground or anything. We handcuffed you. We brought you in. You know, I mean, why would you want to take it to another level where it's Horrible. And she has to go through that, what, several times because there's several different guys like yourself that are coming to meet her? Would you want to do that to anybody? Like, honestly. No, I just put her, even, even the hug. You're, as soon as you got there, you're trying to hug a girl that you've never met. No, that's, all right, that's not true. You know. Um, well, I mean, maybe it is. I mean, I understand from your standpoint, you probably want to, but from her standpoint, you're a total stranger and she's probably a little freaked out by it. You know, she's so cool with everything. I just wanted to hang out and, you know, have pizza. I mean, I honestly, that's, that's why I was there. 
I, I just my my you need you need the my case okay for this is is obviously there's there's a lot of text there yeah. but there's I was trying to do things or um, you know make it so I wasn't breaking the law if I decided at some point that I wanted to you know have any relations with her you know I was trying to make sure that it was legal otherwise I wasn't going to do anything I'll, get, I'll explain that a little bit if I if I you know came down and, and I liked her she liked me and right. she was cool and I felt didn't feel like she was you know too immature or too young or too you know the same if I felt like I was on the same you know level as her like you know emotionally and whatnot I mean I wanted to you know I, I didn't want to do anything that was breaking the law so that's why I researched that stuff I would never I mean that's like ridiculous that you guys thought that I would bring down a bring a contract down well I, I, we were going I believe through your you're, your you're, interpreting, I don't know. you're interpreting you're interpreting it but I mean, well, maybe, maybe maybe we are I don't know but I also see that you're mentioning that a 44 year old guy shouldn't be talking to a 13 year old girl like this right and so, so I felt your, guilty your, about your, it your yeah. language not mine I felt guilty about it yeah and you, you think you might be on the same wavelength as her? There's plenty of you know young people I see on TV that are pretty smart, pretty mature. Thirteen. They're out there, yeah. No, there might be. I don't know. There, there could be a couple out there. I think either they're, they're they could be mature, but maybe they look like a little kid, or they Why is there anything could look there? older, but they're very immature. It's see, I there's a reason these laws are in place, right? I mean, to protect people. Right, and I said that to her. We, Meaning what? But I'm still, a, you kind of expounded on it before, but you're like, oh, I want to do things, whether it's, so in case I did have feelings for her and I liked her, like it would be legal. What, I don't know what that means. She's still, let's just say 13, because you mentioned 13 right here. So how does that still make it legal? I don't know, she said, well, she said she was turning 14, but okay. Um, how does it make what legal? The, you, you just said that. How would it make it okay if you're going to do things with her and she's 13 it, and you ultimately had relations with her it would, in intercourse? How does it make it legal? It wouldn't unless her mom consented to um, marriage. It's the only way it would be legal. So you're going to you're going to marry a 13 year old girl with her mother's permission? Maybe when maybe maybe when she's 16, I would do that. How is that, why is that like so hard to believe? Uh, why is it hard to believe? Yeah, that that, that, that could I, happen. I, I can't say I've even never heard of it. Actually. If I want to, if I want to like. Maybe in other countries it happens. Want to not break the law? Sense. That's what I would have to do. You would marry so her now. I haven't broken the law. she's 13. Yeah, I haven't broken the law. I, I, I mean, so that's the thing. It's all like you're speculating what I was going to do. Based on conversations. No, 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 you you based also on. drove here. You didn't just like have chats, which are bad enough. So what? You actually drove it's two cool. hours. You're like basically my age. You drove two yeah. hours to meet a girl. Most guys. Yeah, you're, you're putting it all together, all right? Most guys, boys. Most guys, no, most guys younger than us, our age, older than us. If given the opportunity, right. they might get in the car on a Saturday night and drive two hours if they think they're going to find. Uh, you know something that feels good at the end of the rainbow, but are they gonna, just going to do most it to guys. maybe meet somebody? Most guys. So you're saying most guys. So it's like you're driving from Boston. You're saying most guys, right? That's not me. Well, what are you? Tell me who you are, because based on the text and, and the behavior you exhibited, I'd say you you fit right in there. You just happen to like them much younger than what's normal, maybe, or or illegal. Maybe I enjoy just you know talking talking about it. I don't know. I mean. I mean, I, with a, I with a thir 12 or 13 year old girl that's a problem I don't know you I never saw you before in my life that's a major league problem didn't seem like it didn't seem like what she's 
see, to see more mature than that. More than, you know. Compared to what? Like a 28-year-old woman? Like a 17, you know, 22-year-old girl? You're talking about a 12 or 13-year-old girl. And she's, what, acting like she's 18? Yeah, so what? She still tells you she's 13 years old. You're 44. I mean, seriously, that's a major league problem. According to the law, it is. But according to what you, it's in not. Head, in my head. In your head, knowing, knowing what I was there for. Knowing that I was not dangerous, that I was not a threat to her, that I was not planning on having sex. Not planning on having sex? What, right. if, what if you just happen to meet a girl that is like, you know what, for whatever reason, she's only 12 or 13, but man, she is a, she's a pistol, and she's all over you. What are you going to do, push her away? Yeah, if I knew I can go to jail, I would. You would? Oh, yes. And why did you bring the Cialis? You know what, that was in my car. I don't care where it was, it was in your pocket you, last time. Yeah, I didn't want to leave it in the car. And I said, what's in here? Just the, I believe it said like CVS, either ibuprofen or something, something like that. You're like, yeah, that's all it is. And then we, we researched it. And it's this, and it's right, right. Story. Sorry, I just you're not got, even, you're sorry. Not even, like, why don't you tell me the truth? I just, got handcuffed. I just got handcuffed. I, you know, I, I don't even remember answering you, to be honest with you. But, but no big deal. But it's not like you had some other medicine, like, I don't even pick out of the top of my head, that's, like, completely unrelated to any kind of sexual interlude. This is, like, right up that alley, right? It's correct. It's so the chat, that, the drive, the Cialis, yeah, no. the fact that for some reason you think that this is like some innocent meeting between a, a, a mature 12-year-old and you. I carry the Cialis around. I just do. And, you know, sometimes I leave it in my car, and I just didn't want to leave it in the Does car. Does it belong in a prescription bottle? No. It doesn't? No, that's smaller. I usually carry it. I have other pills, too, that I put in there. Oh. You don't, you don't see a problem with any of this, like, honestly. I didn't say that. Well, so you see a problem with it? I see a potential problem. Do you have, like, what? nieces, nephews, whoever in your life, in your family? Yep. I don't know their ages, but maybe some are around her age. Honestly, detective, I did not think I was breaking the law to come meet a girl. I honestly didn't. If you look at read the whole text, read everything, you can see how how scared I was to meet her. Just just you know listen. Just the whole scared of the whole situation. But I, I you're you're scared of her for basically basically one reason. And the reason is that your clear intention was to have sex with her. Because if it truly was just to meet somebody, you wouldn't even be nervous about it. You'd be like, screw it. I, I have no interest in having well, sex with this girl. It's a situation. I'm chatting. I, I, my right hand to God, and I'll swear to the parents. They could be home for that matter. I'd love to meet them too. And my intentions are pure. Your intentions were not pure. That's why you had the reservations you had, right? It was a new situation, too, and you never done it before, so yeah. But you're 44, and she's also know 12, 13. That, that there's all these laws about, like, you know. Thank you know, God there are, right? About minors. What if there weren't? I, listen, I, I know what I'm capable of. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I know you think that I'm bullshitting you. No, you're, I mean, you're, trying, to, you're trying to, like, kind of massage the corners, but... You know, do I do I think you're realizing and being honest with yourself and with me about what you did? No, I don't actually. But I mean, you're, you're talking about it, and I appreciate that. But you're not. Because if, you, if you truly looked in the mirror and thought about what's going on or what you did tonight, that's just because I don't feel like I did anything wrong. Well, if, if you want to, if you want to keep it in the in the straight and narrow, and say all I did was come here and bring her a pizza. Yeah, I mean, any uncle, any neighbor, any guy could certainly do that. Any softball coach 
whatever, as long as it's kind of like, you know, the parents know and there's nothing creepy going on. Yeah, in and of itself, is that fine? Sure. But if that softball coach or whoever it may be is texting all, think, all kinds of things about having sex with the girl and her pussy and ba 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 and send me a pic and everything else, and you're only 13 and I'm 44, and then you research the statutes and you drive two hours on a Saturday night, and you bring Cialis with you, and there's a reference of a marriage contract because that will somehow make it legal. It's fucked up. Honestly. Like, be honest with yourself. You don't have, you can try to bullshit me all day long. It doesn't really matter to me. Every, most of the people that I talk to aren't exactly honest. But if you ever want to get well and maybe get past this point in your life and not be back here sometime in the future, I, I, or somewhere else for that matter, or in a bad place. I agree. It's not something that like seriously. I should be doing. And I said that. Yeah. I said that's that. That's a problem. If you, your first, your first your kind of thought about this was probably a correct one. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, this is wrong. I shouldn't need to research a sat- statute to see if I'm able to hang out with a 13-year-old girl and talk about having sex with her. Uh-huh. We're not talking like senior in high school or something. We're not in a sixth, seventh grade, right? It's not gonna You're 40. It's not, gonna not tonight. You just said before, you, you if things worked out and you ended up having relations, you wanted to know kind of like it, it, it would be legal. Right. I think that's what you told me. Yeah, I wouldn't do it unless it was legal. It wouldn't do it. So the Cialis is just, eh, we keep it just in case. And I'm driving two hours to meet a 12-year-old because I'm sure she's got a wonderful conversation and she's really interesting to, to chat to. You have a college degree. If where, was, where do you work? If I was, if I, if I wanted to, if I was planning on having sex, I would have, would have taken the Cialis at home and just left it there. I don't know. For all I know, you took one already. Maybe you took one at home and maybe you brought another one in case it was a, a phenomenal night, right? Or for tomorrow, if you slept over. Yeah, I mean, I told you I had it in my car. You know, I, I rely on it when I had my day girls and stuff, so. Because I have issues with that, so. Um, how about, like, I mean, I know you're doing the texting thing. Were there any, uh, you know, younger girl kind of adolescent pornography either at your house or in your car or anything? Images? Computer images, phone images. I'm gonna look at my phone now. Right? Did you send her pictures? Yeah. Of? Uh, yeah, me. Such as you, like what? Dick pics? No. Naked chest, what? Let's see. This is of her or just you? No, it's just like pictures that are on my phone. I sent her a random picture today. I just like put a picture of myself with my bone shirt. With your what, bone shirt? Yeah, at the bottom. Who's the girl September 16th? Friend of yours? Girlfriend or whatever? Yeah, it's just somebody that I was chatting with that sent me pictures on the same site. Uh-huh. Did she send you any pictures, this girl? Who? Uh, the girl from today. No. Um, oh, yeah, she has. Naked? No. Not naked? Never asked for anything naked. So this is in your underwear, which is fine, but is that going, it's not going to her? I've uh, never asked that one in the past. I actually sent that to the girl I was dating that was 41 as a joke. Was the dog yours? Mm-hmm. With her kids? But if you if you took yourself out of it a little bit, like right now, I think, I mean, I'm sure you can understand why not only it's illegal, 
but it's just like flat wrong that anybody our age would be doing something like this. I mean, you're looking at it as a puzzle book, like it's not a big deal. No, no, and I, you know, I don't even know you, but I, I feel bad that you're not somehow comprehending it. It's like so wrong, it's not even, it's, you can't even discuss it. And if you actually think it's okay, no, that's not what I'm that's saying. Or even kind of okay, or situationally okay, it's like you need serious help, honestly. You really do. Because that's, that's just fucked up. Period. I'm not saying that it's okay. I never said that. I was saying well, what that, is that my intentions were, were. What, pure? My intentions were, were never to violate her, other than being in her presence. And that's something that, like, obviously it's like a back and forth that you guys would never know. Because you're not inside my head. No, I know, but I'm going by the only way I, I know you is I'm going through the, the chat. I know, I know. Your actions today, I know, what yeah. you said. Like, what, what am I supposed to go by? Something else? You know what I mean? Like, how can you judge me other than what we're talking about right now? Yeah, you know, like, I thought, like... not me either, right? So. How do you... When, when you... What? I have no idea what this is. What kind of a... How do you... Video here. How do I what? So when you, when you catch these, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, sex, you know... These, these, you, you catch these people... Uh, meeting with young with minors. Yeah. Um, like we go to you. Right. So so you know you got me in in the house and, and everything and I I just like I, I had no idea what was going on. Um, you always do it like that. Always. No. There's all kinds of ways that things I mean, like this come to come to come to light. There's times when. Something like this happens, and there's times when a, a parent calls because my I just caught my 15 year old daughter or whatever texting some guy who says he's 30, come to find out he's 44 or whatever, and um, you know they want the guy arrested for statutory rape and. See, know, I thought it was against the law to have involved. sex, to actually have sex, and then like let's say I had sex tonight, and then somebody found out that I was with her, and you know they did some sort of. Uh, why why would we? want to wait until that happens. I don't know. I mean, I, it's it kind of like saying, well, wait till the guy like robs the bank before you move in. No, if we if we have probable cause to believe that these guys are about to rob a bank, why am I putting the freaking teller's lives and innocent people in, in jeopardy? Or in this case, the girl in the kitchen with a hat on. I'm going to let you grope her and feel her up and take your clothes off so yeah. that what? I have a stronger case? Okay. Fuck that. This, you know what this, I mean? It ain't, it ain't this is this is you know the problem with society. You know what's the problem? Um, that law enforcement looks at well all kinds of people just think that men are pigs and all they want is sex. I never, I never said that. That's that's what you're that's what you're making out. That's what you're making it out to be. You, you're basically saying that it's not it's not Listen. humanly possible for me to, to to hang out with this girl. And not have sex with her tonight. I didn't say I didn't say it's not humanly possible. It's certainly possible that you could have drove down here after you had this sexually kind of charged discussion, and maybe you're respectful. Maybe you're like not some really aggressive guy. She says, "Well, I'm not feeling it tonight," and you're like, "Okay, you know, I'm gonna come back another time." But really, your intention was Cialis. A lot of this discussion marriage contract to make it legal. Why would I wait till how am I gonna take this on do this for? I'm gonna do this for months and months and months? Until one one night, God forbid, you, you like actually attack this girl? And nobody's there to protect her? Attack. I don't know. That's bad. But no, but you're you're making you're making it sound like you talked about you know, a shared love of uh, music or something or something else. Yeah, it's certain a certain lot of stuff. And you also talked about sex with a 12 or freaking 13 year old girl. It's fucked up. Sex is a part of life. People talk about sex. One second. Hey, Kevin. Who's that? Oh, yeah, I don't care. You're trying to interview right now. 
Chuck or something. I'm in the area. I'll do whatever you want with it. Okay, okay. Thanks. Oh, what are you, what are you talking? What are you talking about? Oh, I don't care. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. It may bounce off a of Tony or something if you want. I could care less. Thanks. I don't know what he was talking about. Um, yeah, but I mean, honestly, it's a, it's, it really is like a. It's a what's your passcode? Four one zero two. It is a serious problem you have because you're still kind of acting like I would. We had, we had a guy earlier today. He's in tears and shaking because he knows it's wrong. He's he feels like emotionally, mentally, you know, kind of unstable. He's totally apologetic. Similar situation, and um, but at least I, fe I felt like he was kind of owning up for his. Intention, maybe not necessarily today. Listen, you're you're acting like you're still trying to turn turn me to say no, no, no we're just going to hang out. What's, what's the big deal? Right, because that was that was my true intention. So I can't, I can't. What else am I supposed to say? With the Cialis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. With the. I know it's hard to believe. With the sex chat. With a long drive. It it's not like bad. you said, hey. Well, listen, bad. I'm dressing up really nice. I'm going to take you out for something to eat. That's looks cool. Bad. It's just still bad, and I still wouldn't really believe you. But hey, look, bad. you come in with a pizza. You want to hang out at home. Parents are at home. Make sure of that. Well, and the first thing you do, you want to give her a girl a hug. You know, you're not going to in if the parents are home. Well, they don't hang out with her. Parents are home. But you that's said why, that's why I wouldn't come. I mean, of the course, it wouldn't happen. They right. wouldn't let me in. Right. Why? <laughs> you know why. I, yeah, we both know why. I just and, want you to know why. And I'm well aware of it. I'm, okay. well, I'm well aware that it looks bad. I'm well aware. It looks bad, I'm and well it is bad. It's not just like, hey, we're jumping to Again, conclusions yes. here. This guy's a great uh, SAT prep guy. He's working with this girl with the, for the... Uh, I wanted to see what she was all about. I honestly was not planning on having sex with her. That is fucked up. Oh. You want to see what a 13-year-old girl is all about. You don't. You still don't see that as like being an issue. I can see how it is an issue for most people with a smartphone. Most people might say, at our age, hey, the girl's like 26, 28, whatever. A little on the younger side for us, but hey, I want to hang out and see what she's all about. She's 12 or 13. 17 year old boys aren't even interested in her. You with me? I know condoms are what I'm planning on having sex. But you had Cialis. I always have Cialis. Okay, well maybe you do. Maybe you, maybe you travel with it all the time. But you know, you put these things together, it's not like we're we're making a big leap here. You know what I mean? But you're still shaking your head with your yeah, hands, your arms are crossed, and you're kind of wondering like, what? Well, this is crazy. I just wanted to hang out with her. Because that's the truth. Even if, even if that was the truth, which I don't believe, me, which I don't I'm believe. Not lying. It, it's all. Can I have a cup of water? Second, just to maybe get back to your home life. Do you live what? You have an apartment in Brooklyn? You live there by yourself? Yeah. You, what do you do for work? I know there's a mention in Cheshire, Connecticut or something. Premium auditor. It's an insurance. Auditor insurance policies. So if they're based in Cheshire, but you, you work or live in. Yeah, I mean, I work out of, home or out of my house, but I mean, I have clients in Boston. Yeah. There's people all over the place. And, you know, you spent a lot of time chatting with this girl. Obviously, is there, you have a computer at home, I imagine. You have, uh, you go to different 
chat rooms and talk to different people. If there's those, if we looked at some of those things, would we find other younger girls that you're speaking to? Is there a common denominator? Uh, no, you, I don't think you would find a common denominator. I'm talking about like age of a, of a female. That's my common denominator. No. So you, you don't. No. I mean, even What's the, the youngest girl other than this gal that you've spoken to or chatted with recently or in the last couple of months? Or I know you focus on age and you have to be focused on age here, but they're all ages, 21 and up. I mean, I, I, I've never had... Why not like 18 or 17 or 16? Just didn't, I was not looking for that. This happened. This just happened. And then how, did it, how did this jump out at you? How did it happen? Yeah, well, how did it jump out? Like, why, why would you be so taken with... Thank you. With a guy that's just Thanks. Oh. Thanks. I guess that oh, was... so special about her, in other words. Like I said, it was just some... You know, she was somebody that I, I thought I was able to relate to and, and you know, would have a conversation with. Not everybody that age, you can do that with. What can you tell me about her? Well, I'm sure everything I tell you about her is probably, is probably not true because... Well, what, no, that, granted, but what do, you, yeah. what do you know of her? That maybe, you know, if I heard I might be like, wow, she must be kind of special. Um, well, she just seemed, she seemed smart and she seemed like, you know, mature. And, um, you know, it made me talk about hockey. She, was, she said she was a big hockey fan and so am I. And, um, I don't know, I mean, just... She just seemed chill and like to hang out and stuff. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I can't so you can tell me, you can't tell me I mean, when she went to a certain, uh, you know, middle school, high school, she was going into high school, she had uh, an ex-boyfriend, she had sex with him once or twice, uh, or, you know, single mother, parents are in the house, siblings, you can't tell me anything like that? Well, yeah, no, she said she lived with her mom, yeah. Well, I mean, well what's her mother doing? Where's her mother t supposed to be today? Yeah, she said her mom was away. You know where? Is she possibly coming home early? No, yes, maybe. I have no idea when she's coming home. You didn't ask where she was going? No, I think she's like away somewhere in business, so somewhere far. You didn't inquire where, though? If I was going to be careful to the point I'm going to research Oh, she said Dallas. And know where, so Dallas. how much trouble I may or may not be in if things, as you said, like either got out of hand or you had relations. I would assume you'd know where the freaking mother was so that you don't want her walking in on you, right? She said she was in Dallas. Okay. Now, what's her mother do? Do you know what she does for work? She said she was in financial services. Anything else about the girl that you were chatting with? The home life or the school or the friends or No, I mean she said she just moved to Connecticut. Where did she move from? California, she said. You know where? LA. You ever talk about having her come to meet you somehow? Or was it always this way where you thought maybe I'll come see you? Yeah. Talk about it. Did you ever plan on meeting her on previous occasions, maybe outside of the mother's purview, like maybe at a coffee shop or store or something? Not that I, not that I recall. No. No. I guess, yeah. When she said her mom's going away, that was like an opportunity to meet her, you know, to hang out and meet her at her house. Do you have any hobbies? Such as? Play fast. Um, fitness. Like to work out. I'm addicted to football. Doing coaching or anything like that? Do you volunteer in any respect? Teach tennis? No. No, I just Teach tennis to kids? I don't. No. Play Friday night. Have you hooked up with any younger girls recently? No. 18, 20, whatever? No. Ever? The last 10 years? No. 
can check it out if you want to see anything. Check, check what out? What am I going to check out? I don't know. You guys can probably check out anything you want. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So you have, what do you, what do you have at your home? You have computers, I imagine, or one or more than one for work or yeah, personal? Yeah, work computer and personal. And what type of sites have you been on? You went on, I guess, this one where you met her? Yeah, I mean, I, I use that site sometimes on the board. Another site, uh, Mocha Space. What was that? A fast food again? You said 4102? Yeah. What she inherits, by the way? Her, like, messages. Bailey. Bailey. So I'll just go back today while I was looking at this. It'll probably make it easier on me. How long have you been planning to see her today? I mean, before today, was this like in the work for a couple of days? Or? I actually just made the decision today. If you look at the text messages, it was it was talked about, but I didn't, I hadn't committed really. Because obviously, I had apprehension about the whole thing. So you did more research today, just found it out, and you'd have to get more, a written consent by her, her mom to get married under 18. Fuck. That guy's in frustration, right? I have some ideas on this. Can talk later. Okay, I still want to see you. Uh, want to see me? Fuck yeah, I said, yeah, I don't mind. Let's get a pizza. Your address. You got booze. I want some vodka. So drink. Can we drink it? She's 13, right? Listen, no, no bullshit, and I'm probably doing you a favor. You've probably had a major league issue with this for a long time, and I don't know that you're going to rape her tonight. But you're certainly were preying on her, right? 13, she's 14 years old. Are you going to drive down from Boston? You want to drink with her? You got a Cialis in your pocket. You may have one in your system. And you want to bang the chick, right? You wasn't planning on that tonight. You weren't going to? Nope. So even if she wanted it, you're drinking, you feel good. You got to be horny, right? You haven't had a girlfriend in a little while? I would not. I was not going to do it. Why? Because I was too scared. Of what? Consequences. You can see I said it a lot in our messages on Skype. I said you're you're going to drink with a 13-year-old girl while her mother's in fucking Dallas, Texas, or whatever you said before, and you're worried about consequences? Like, seriously. Yep. I'm serious. We're adult men, dude. Talk to me. You can't be serious. See, then you're... you're no, you're, being, I'm you're, being, you're bringing that up again. You, you, you're basically insinuating that. No, because I'm, I'm not 22, and you're not 50, and I'm not 50, and you're not 20. Like, <laughs> I'm 47, so, like, we're in the same realm here. Yep, I understand. And you're going to drink with this girl who you know is how many years under the age of, you know, being able to consume alcohol? Seven, eight, depending on what age you're, you're talking about. Yeah. The FC Alice and the whole sex, t- you know, texting stuff going on. It's like, I mean, seriously, just don't up to what you did. It's, you're trying to still kind of keep it over here, and it's not there. You're not doing yourself any favors the more you act like that. I mean, if you want to get past this and get well and not be in this position someday, probably in another police department or worse, if somebody ever walked in on you or you hurt some girl who, again, is 12, 13 years old, just look at yourself in the mirror and, like, think about what you're, you're talking about. Listen, I know. You can cross your arms and hide all you want. No, no I You know what? I know. You weren't going to touch her. No, no, I know that it looks bad. It is bad. It is bad. It, it, it's bad. it doesn't look bad. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, the whole thing. The whole thing is bad. But my intentions were not to have sex. 
So you're going to drink with this girl who, like, how much alcohol could, could she have drank in her let's, life? Let's take so a, she's going to act how? Probably like a basket case. Let's, let's take a uh, lie detector test. That's going to prove what to me? I don't know. I mean, they're let's fucking let's sociopaths. Let's go to court. Let's go to court. I don't no, know. Let's go to court. And, I mean, I would, I would swear in court that I wasn't planning on having sex with her. You weren't planning on having sex with her. Right. Maybe, maybe you didn't plan on having sex with her, but it would have happened if... But, I disagree. I honestly disagree. Why? Why? Yeah. Again, let's go back to this whole thing, remember? Just hang out, a companion, a friend. Seeing cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with like hanging out with somebody because you think they're cool. You want, you want to go? How could she be cool? No offense to any, any girl that is that age. Well, I talk cool to you. I talk to her enough. Yeah. Yeah. To, to figure that out. I'm not denying that that looks that it doesn't look bad. I'm not saying it's, it's not terrible. Bad. It is terrible. Yeah, it's you terrible. It's way. terrible if I had sex with her. I agree. Terrible that you're willing to drink and put yourself in that position and come down here probably for the intention of doing that. Right, and I can't control myself. You don't think I can control myself? Ha have a drink? Have a drink and have some pizza? And You don't think I can control myself and not have sex with her? I don't know you at all. Right, I, would, I would say you probably can't control yourself since you got in the car on a Saturday night and drove all this way to meet this girl you've never met you chatted with about sex and kicks and yada 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 and getting married and getting her mother's consent so you could have sex with her so it would be legal to try to you know circumvent the law you, you think that's normal no it's not i didn't even told her that and you almost light up like you're proud of that fact oh, it's, no. it's disturbing i'm not proud of it it's it, I'm, I'm i'm acting this way for several reasons one, because I'm probably too much shocked to realize this is even happening. I feel like that I'm dreaming right now. I don't think I'm sure this is real. Um, and two, I know what my intentions were. And, and you could say that. And maybe, maybe some of what you're saying is accurate and true. I don't know, but because because I I wrote on you know, on Skype, I wrote all these messages stating that. I don't want to have sex. I don't want to have sex if it's going to be against the law. How can you not interpret that as, you know, as, as me trying to obey, not me not trying to obey the law? How can you interpret that? How can I interpret that you're not? The, the, girl, the girl is 13 years okay, old. You keep going back you, to that. You want to have, you're trying to, I'll, I'll be blunt. You want to be able to bang her, and the only way you think you're able to bang her and have sex with her is by getting her mother to sign a marriage a marriage uh, application or right. certificate. Which is That's the only reason. You don't even care about the mother. In fact, the only reason you're at the house is because the mother is 1,500 miles away. Right, and I realized that, that that is virtually, would have been virtually impossible. As it should be. Right. But God forbid it happened all the time. Where, where would our society be, right? All these creepy older guys would be going after these, what, middle school girls? I don't, I don't, I don't look at Fucking it. Fucking sixth or seventh grade, and that's who you're attracted to? And she's like, you said she's mature, and she's got, you know, she's really smart, and she's really... I don't look at it as going after her. I mean... Well, you can drive, and she can't, so she's right. not coming after you. Well, but she's pursuing me, too. Online and yeah, with this little adolescent brain and, and um, intellect of hers, right? And you're, you're a guy that's my age, basically, and you've been through college and yeah. you've worked for 20 years and you've been married and divorced, and this girl's like what should have been maybe a product of your marriage, like a young girl, 12 years old, 13 years old. And you're, and you're kind of... I'm sorry, yes, it, it looks awful. It just looks say it is awful. Because stop saying that looks awful. It is awful. It's kind of pissing me off, actually. It doesn't just look awful. No, well, it pisses me off. If I walked into the library and you were leaning over my daughter's shoulder, talking over, come to find out you're, you're teaching her something about computers and everything's, it looks awful, but maybe it's not awful. Maybe I overreacted initially. This is fucking awful and disgusting, actually. Period. You're a dad. 
reverse it and I'm you, you'd probably want to strangle me, right? Most likely. I want to bang your daughter. Most likely. Hello? Yeah, you would. You'd probably be over the table, like, trying to kill me right now. Not most likely either. Like, absolutely. You have a serious problem. And until you, like, admit it, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to get better. You're not going to, this stuff's not going to go away. I don't know when really? it started. You need Really? You don't think this is enough for me to realize that? I don't think you can help it because you keep on going like this and saying, well, you don't know what my intentions were. Until you, like, admit the truth of I what, you, what your I actual mean, intention was, mean. you wanted to have sex with a fucking 13-year-old that's girl. Not, that's why the that. contract, that's why the mother comment about the signed contract, no, all those things is the only reason. Doesn't make a difference if it's tonight or tomorrow? I, I just, I, I'm being honest with you on this. I wasn't planning on having sex with her tonight. You weren't planning on having sex with her tonight. How many times have girls said that about a date with a guy? I wasn't planning on having sex with a guy, and oh my god, he was so handsome, okay, and so it was really apart. nice, and you know. You're picking you weren't planning on it. You're I wasn't planning on like stubbing my toe, but I did. That's what I'm saying. No, because you're not being genuine. Like, you be truthful. Just say, if you said, I was not going to, there was no way in hell. I was dropping the pizza, having a slice, and well, saying, yeah, I'm going to New York. That's what I've been saying the whole all along. Is, is that you wait until the mother's not home, you get the Cialis, and blah, blah, blah. you're talking about alcohol with a girl who's 13? That's a great idea. Let's drink with a 13 year old. When we're going to have sex. Just, Even if she starts freaking out and dropping all her clothes, you want no part of leave. I believe that one. <laughs> I don't, by the way. Of course you don't. I know you don't. Seriously, dude, come on. No, that's hard to believe because, you know, most guys all they think about is sex and that's all they want is sex. Yes, we talked about sex, but that's I was not going to have sex with her and break the law. Okay. Um, and that's obvious from my text messages. You're still you're still caught up on this. You're looking for an angle so that you wouldn't have to break the law, correct? If it you're, you're not like not doing the deed, if you want you want to you want to somehow circumvent it so that it would somehow be legal or okay in your mind. Yeah, well, okay, okay with everybody, right? But that that was your intention. It wasn't like you. Oh, whoa, 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 I gotta wait till she's 16, 17. I'm not touching this poor thing because she's only 13 years old. That wasn't your motivation. It was like, I want to bang her. I got to get her mother, mother to sign to, her over. To be honest, I had nothing to do tonight. I really just wanted to like meet her and then okay. figure out some, you know, later what, what you know, I was going to do as far as you know, all that other stuff. All right. I mean, you, you're... You're painting me to be a, like a an evil person that doesn't care about anyone's you know well-being, and I'm admitting to you that that it, it's wrong. If you, if, you, if anybody who hears a story like this is going to think I'm doing something wrong, even you, 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 even you thought so. If they don't know all the facts. Well, you thought so too because you researched the law, right? Yes, I was I was like researching stuff for things that I wanted to know if I did this, what would happen? If I did that, what would happen? Doesn't mean I was going to do it. I just wanted to know what the, what, you know? What, what would the ramifications be if you served her alcohol? What are the rules? And she got hammered at home with you. Is that cool? Well, did, did you circumvent that? Yeah, I wasn't going to let her get hammered. You're just going to have, have a little vodka? Yeah. So yeah? A drink. Who are you in her life to even say that's okay? Well, no, I'm not going to like take the. I'm not going to be like you know forcefully take the bottle away from her. I'm just to say let's have one drink, you know, have a drink. You know, people they, they have a drink. You know, they hang out and have a drink. It's pretty normal. She's 13. She's probably had many drinks. She said At 13. She, she said she has. Do you see a psychiatrist or anybody? No. You do for what? OCD, depression. What do you take? Prozac. 
Does it help? I'm not sure. What's your OCD? What's your, what are you fixate on? I honestly don't want to get into it. But that's probably what we're talking about? No, I mean, it's personal. So what? It's just I don't talk about it with anyone. It's really, it's just, it's difficult. So, I mean, I, I went to an OCD convention last month. And, you know, work, I'm trying to, like, you know, work on my, my issues. And I'm just, it's, it's tough. I have, I have. I feel for you. It's probably horrible. I, I just, I go through it every day, and it's, and it's tough. And, um, sometimes, you know, I, I want to do things to distract myself, and, you know, so I don't have to go through it, because, like, it, the OCD happens a lot when I'm by myself. It happens much less when I'm with people. So, especially if I'm having fun, and I figured, I thought that it would, tonight would have a fun night, and, you know, I'm going to have to deal with my OCD, my depression, or whatever. Do you, do you fixate on either, you know, porn, or girls, or younger girls? Is that ever the focus of your, no? Sure, you're kind of closing your eyes and shaking your head as if it is. Yeah, it's never happened. Okay. I've never pursued a girl that, that that age. Is there anything on your phone that might, uh, you know, show us any other younger females that maybe you communicate with, whether it's texting or calling or anything else? No, I mean when you say when you say young females, yes, I mean I, I talk to females, you know. But what's a what's a young female, younger female, other than Bailey? What's Kim who's Kim D? She's forty two. Maria Chesley? Ex girlfriend. The six one seven number here? Who's this? Client. Client. Three one five Brian. I know who's I know. I know my Oh, he's my uh, psychiatrist. Kristen? Friend. How old? My age. Nine one seven. I have to see the if it, if there's no You said it. your VM wasn't set up, I looked into the case was closed. Oh, it's a work and set it to work? Yeah. Mom and dad. Chris. Yeah, it's a So if you had your druthers, would you typically go for a girl that's age ages of the primary? No, but you, you you tend to be attracted to maybe girls that are more like te teen teen like or teeny boppers. No, that's not true. No, I'm just asking. I don't know. It's not true though. Because like maybe you're not. Maybe you are. It's not. I mean, like I'm seeing last couple of girls that I've that I've dated. Actually, the last three have been my age. Were you happy with them? Were you not satisfied because you were looking for something else, like a younger type? No, I was happy. Girl. I was happy. But they just, you know, for some other reason, they just didn't work out. I mean, there was no sexual issue with them. Everything was cool. They were attractive, whatever, to you. Correct. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. What do you, what did you arrest me on? Like what? Well, since nothing really happened, it's criminal attempt. Right, so that's what I'm And I think you signed the form downstairs. You should have, you should have seen the charges, but it's criminal attempt at sexual assault first degree. 
Signed what form? In the, in the yellow, uh, we call them the UAR forms, yeah, there's four sheets. Yeah, he said that that was, was a signing that. Be, but they have, they have your charges on there on the bottom. You didn't see your charges? No, I thought it was just signing. I just thought it was just signing that I gave him fingerprints. Okay, well that's not exactly the case. You're arrested. They're felonies. It's criminal attempt to commit sexual assault first degree. I would never agree to that. Well, okay. it doesn't matter if you agree. You don't have to agree. That's what we're charging you with. All right, but I'm saying like I would never sign. You're, you're not signing that. that you're guilty. You're signing that you the information on the sheet is accurate. Then that you charge me. That's what well, yeah, but it doesn't matter. If you didn't sign it, would it change anything? No. It doesn't mean like, oh, he doesn't admit to this. Okay, so what were the charges again? Cr uh, criminal attempt to commit sexual assault first degree, because you obviously didn't actually engage in that, but we believe that was your intention. Enticing a minor and risk of injury to a minor. You're shaking your head. Yeah. But like honestly, there's not a, there's a mirror in front of you, but there's a reflection. Like if you really look at yourself and think about what occurred, I think you're probably a very bright guy. I imagine you might be, but you're still in this weird funk of like denial. Like yeah, it's not it's not what you think. I wasn't gonna do that. Like truly look at yourself and be like, I fucked up bad. I tried to serve up. No, there's people that maybe get caught in the, the wrong place at the wrong time, whatever. No, I fucked up by coming down. No, you fucked up by contacting a 12-year-old girl, dude. 13-year-old girl. I never, I never... Come, coming here was just like one, one arm of the whole thing, one little tentacle. If you're texting a girl who's 13 about getting laid with her, getting her mother to sign a marriage certificate, and I'm being redundant... Drinking alcohol that her mother has a bottle of vodka. Those are the fucked up. The whole point of you even communicating with the girl is fucked up. Never mind the rest of it. It's not just coming here. You know what I mean? That's just the end, the end result. You know the, the finality part of it. I guess you say. But the fact that you even communicated sure. with her. If I was talking to a girl that I ever found out she was. At my age, like less than 20 years old, I'd be like, honey, good luck in your, you know, in your search and your chase, whatever, but it ain't happening with me, you know what I mean? And you're talking to a girl you know or think is 13 years old. That's a problem. But until you actually, like, admit that to yourself and be like, either it's the OCD that got the best idea, Maybe you're depressed, maybe you just needed to hang out, you're lonely. There's all kinds of reasons. We all have excuses for all kinds of behavior. I can make, make up stuff, too. Maybe some of it's true, but it doesn't excuse, again, talking to a, a child and trying to have sex with her. And when you say that, Honestly, I don't think it's fair to say that. You, you put it put it in your words how how tonight should be looked at by. I understand that how everybody here would think that. I understand that. You would think it too. What are you doing exactly? You're an insurance. I would think that. You would know it. You would do a report on it. And be like, this fucking guy <laughs> is trying to bang this chick like tonight. You know, you didn't come down three days ago when the mother was home. You didn't come down during broad daylight. You came down on a Saturday night, booze, Cialis, yada, yada, yada. I didn't search your car, but, you know, there may, who knows, there's something else in your car. You know, a lot of guys bring condoms and different things and stuff like this. I don't know if you had those, but um, your mother could sign, so it won't be an issue. Come on. Just, just, please. For your well-being in the future. Like admit it to yourself and, and digest it and get help for it. You know, what I mean? I, know. It's I, like, I, 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 it's, I, I've learned it's, a lesson. It's, it's sick. I've learned a lesson. It's I, not just like, eh, you're on the fringe. It's a little questionable. No, this is like horrible. You know, this is like awful. I, I, I you, you have a view. You think it's awful. Um, I think it's it's bad, but my intentions were good. My intentions were never to have sex with her. 
Never? My intentions were not to have sex with her. When? Unless it You was, said it before. Unless it was perfectly Maybe legal. not tonight. Unless it was perfectly legal. We'll never risk that. So regardless of like the I mean, fact that, that she's yeah. that age, if there was some weird loophole in some, you know, uh I older it, older law I that we could get we get some some <laughs> relative to sign something to do something, okay now it's legal. She's still fucking thirteen years old, dude. If, if we fell in love with each other? I'd Are you really at that level with this chick? Is this like kind of I said if. No, yeah, no, are you no, jumping no, no. like way, way, way ahead? Yeah, just, I always think that way. Always think you want to get her drunk tonight, basically. <laughs> she you did. Man. You did. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, look at your phone. Right? Well, yeah, it says that, but... Yeah. I didn't say it. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mean doesn't mean we're, we're going to just have one drink. So, again, you you know, you, you're, you're assuming all this she's stuff. 13! You're assuming all this stuff. she's drinking vodka. You didn't say, well, we could have a little sip. But who are you in her life anyways to even... Talk about that. Come on. Just, I don't want to go round and round with you. It's getting late. It's kind of frustrating. I was, hoping, I was hoping you'd come I'm sorry around to like the side that is like kind of, you know, right. And maybe when you looked at your, what you did tonight, you'd be like, holy Can fuck. Can I just say I something? Uh, of course. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I understand. I don't think you are either. I understand. So I'm surprised that you're, you're kind of stoic. Like, no, no. My intentions were pure. Or they well, I'm just being honest. But listen, I understand. Yeah. I understand that there's a lot of wrong. Debate. There's a lot of wrong here. I understand yeah, that. Totally. And you are the adult in the equation. It's not like you're, you know, 15 and she's 12 and like, eh, you're, you're, you should know better. You're 44. Look, listen, like I Go said, ahead. like I said, Patrick, I know this is wrong. I know that it looks awful. Yeah. And if I was to walk out of here right now, I'd, I'd learned a nasty lesson and that never to like even go near this again because it's not worth it, no matter what the intentions are. That's what I've learned. I mean, I'm scared shitless right now. I'm not showing it maybe. It's just my personality. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think I'm, you know, some people think I'm cocky. Some people think I'm confident, but whatever. I mean, a lot of times I'm not. That's my personality. I, I know I have weaknesses. Yes, I'm lonely. I mean, I, I've had trouble with, you know, meeting people. You know, just, <clears throat> so, yeah, I go online and I talk to people. It's like something to do. Something, a lot of people do it. I've talked to other people about that. About what? But why they talk to random people. I want to know what other people are like. What, what are they? You know, I don't. I don't have, nobody has an issue with you. You're all consenting adults. If you're talking to random people, by yeah. all means, do what she you was want the to only one that happened to be. Yeah, but all the people. What? Young. Young. Yeah, like thirteen. Yes, too young. I not be, not I like. Shouldn't be talking to her. Seventeen or sixteen. I get it. I shouldn't be talking to her. I get it. You're just not digesting that whole part of it. Like it's how wrong that is. You're just still kind of like, oh, you're lonely. So yeah, everybody's got a song and a dance and say, oh, you have OCD and I'm lonely, I'm depressed and okay, fine. But she's 13. You can you can you can be your if you are and no offense, like lonely, depressed self at 44 and I try to that. cope with that as an adult person in society, right? And medication and other avenues, and you got probably insurance and a good job and. And you're you're gonna prey on a thirteen year old girl? Well, I know. And give her alcohol to fuck her? <laughs> to make yourself feel better on a Saturday night? Like seriously. That's what happens, and I just about guarantee it. So you say what you want, I don't wanna argue with you. No offense. I don't wanna argue with you. You believe either. what you believe supposedly, I'm not sure if you even do. And I kinda know what I know. And that's it. But your your charges I told you about your charges. I'll show them to you downstairs. And if they didn't talk to you about Bond yet, maybe they didn't. Uh, we'll talk about Bond with a lieutenant, and um, you know that's kind of it for this moment. But if you have any questions for me, because we're just kind of going around and around, you know, it's a little frustrating. Yeah, I'm sorry it's frustrating for you. Well, it, it'd be less frustrating, and I'd feel better about you 
in the whole situation if you were like, oh my God, did I fuck up or what? Like, that was horrible. I, you know, I probably did want to get laid. Sometimes, whether it's the OCD or depression or both get the best of me, I was focused on her, nobody else is in my, whatever, I don't know, put words in your mouth, but like something like that. But do you see how fucked up this is, you know, Jeff? Oh my God, I do, and I gotta get help, and but you're still acting like, your intentions were pure and you really weren't going to do anything so bad. That's just not true. I'd give you the benefit of the doubt if I thought there was a benefit, of the, the, there was a doubt, but there isn't. At the end of the day, nobody got hurt because we stepped in. I don't know that this has never happened before. We were successful in your conquest or whatever you want to call it, but at least today, like, we were able to step in, you didn't get hurt, she didn't get hurt, because she, you know, we were there, but if we weren't, a 12 or 13 year old girl would probably be cocked right now, and you'd be, as an adult man, doing kind of whatever you wanted to her, with it. And her mother's not home till whatever, tomorrow or the next day. I mean, if you see in the notes, in the, in the notes, I I wasn't planning on staying over. I told her that. I told her I had to go home because I have a dog. Blah blah blah. I mean, I, I, I wish I had. I wish I had more text about like about that stuff. But I mean, it's just not tough to hear. There's probably, <laughs> there's probably a lot of innocent texts. I'm sure there are. Like most of us, we have got, like stupid, you know, just kind of random little thoughts and things. But when you're talking again with this younger girl about you know, having sex with her, it's just, it's just. I don't know how you, you try to defend what your intentions were because I just don't think they were yeah, defensive. Yeah. Why would I tell her all the ramifications? I could go to jail, blah, 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 all this stuff about being another minor. Why would I go through all that telling her that if I didn't like, actually care about it? I do care about it. You care about getting caught. You don't want to get caught. No, yeah, no, I care about because I can't. I don't even know if I could have trust her. You know, right, so you're let, you're warning her to not tell anybody. Well, even saying that doesn't mean anything. I mean, well, like, otherwise you wouldn't say it, right? No, but like it doesn't. It really, in the end, it doesn't mean anything if you don't know somebody. You know, sure, I mean, she, she could be blurting out to everybody on Facebook, but you were telling her for self-interest to kind of protect your own ass because you know it's wrong, and she may or may not know it's wrong, but you're telling her it's wrong, and you can get in a lot of trouble, so you're kind of warning her, like, keep it quiet, and... Yeah, but I also know, detective, I also know that this type of thing, if I was to go through with, with this, like you think I was going to do, I also know that just because she says that she's not going to tell anyone, I can't take her on her word, and that's why I wasn't going to have sex with her. I wanted to meet her, and that's it. And All right, so, uh, 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 so uh, me, but. Nah, no offense, I really don't, but no, no. if you drank some vodka and you, you limited her to her intake, or supposedly, and she got a little bit drunk, and her mother got upset tomorrow because half the bottle of vodka is gone, and she rats you out, or the mother goes to the phone and finds out that you were over, you're okay with that? That's okay? No. Getting a 13-year-old drunk on a Saturday night? No. And you know what the second allegation would be, right? No. The mother's going to be like, this weird guy from Boston came down and fucked my daughter, and I want to do a rape kit, and I want to arrest it. And right, that's bad. The daughter's going to say, no, we didn't have sex, and you're going to say, no, I don't know what you're talking about, and we have to do this whole thing. In reality, maybe it did have sex. And we think, I wouldn't be charging you if I didn't think that that was your intention, just so you know. So you can charge me based on... You're, you've already been charged. Yeah, those yeah. three charges. Criminal attempt. Because if we weren't in these positions in that house, and you actually had that girl, like that real girl, and you came down to meet her, yeah, we believe that that was your intention. Yes. To have sex with her. Not to kiss her and give her a hug, but to have sex with her. Okay, it wouldn't be here otherwise. All right, that's, that's our intention. I understand. I mean, that was that's our position. So, um, anyways, I don't want to, you know, again, go round and round with you. Right, and I, I don't want you to think that I, I that I'm just not taking this seriously. I think you're taking it seriously. I just don't think you're being honest with yourself. 
No, you know, it's, you're, you're not unique in that. A lot of people try to. I'm admitting, yes. I mean, I agree to all that. We, we talked about having sex, and we talked about. Are you a virgin? Like, why, why do you give a fuck if this girl's a virgin if you're not gonna have sex with her? Which, again, we've already gone around and around. Like, I know what your, I, I believe I know what your intentions were, but it's like that, that you can ask like, a 13 year old girl that. You slept with one guy more than once, a couple of times. I'm surprised. Like, I'm gonna do that. Most girls at your age are virgins, so I'm, I'm impressed. Who would do it? What? Who would do it? Okay. I mean, Makes me feel a little better. I never Initially, you're like, I shouldn't have come down here. No, you fucked up when you started talking to her. Yes, that's wrong. You're right. I shouldn't be Period. talking to her. I shouldn't. And be, then it only got worse from there. I shouldn't be tempted like that. You know, to, to come down and yes, the, you know, you're, I know you're saying that one thing leads to another, and, and you know, sex can happen. But I'm being honest, and I'm being honest when I say I was not going to have sex with her. I wasn't going to risk. And we're not going to risk going to jail. Not today, right? Supposedly, maybe not today. I wasn't making that decision right now. Who was it? Not me. I wasn't going to make that decision. I was just going to meet her and see if I even liked her. Or she liked me. I mean, that's that's really. What well, if you hit it off and you have a glass of vodka or whatever, orange juice and vodka? Or I just said, but it just she's said. cute. And you're like, get the house to yourself and. You got a Cialis burning a hole in your pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling you, I went in with the mindset that it wasn't going to have sex with yeah, you. Yeah, that, that's great. That's the I, mindset I, because I'm, I'm going, going to fucking go to places. I'm going to places with a good mindset, and the shit, the shit goes upside down within a minute, right? Yeah, because a lot of people don't care about circumstances. I know you did, and you researched it and everything. Right, I care about it. I don't want to, like, I don't want to go to jail. So I mean, why risk it? Why risk my whole life? I didn't think going down to meet her and just like see if I liked her was going to be an issue because I had no bad intentions. No, it's, it's open for debate. I know it's open for debate. It looks bad. Yeah, it looks bad. I agree. All right, listen. We, we probably beat this dead away. I know we have. Around around around, but listen, I understand why. I'm glad why. you talked to me. Listen, I appreciate it. I understand why you think. I, I get it. I get why you think my intentions were, were different. I get it's because you think it too. No. I, I get it. Yeah, as you should, as everybody should. Period. No, no big deal. I don't even know you. You're probably like a decent human being somewhere in there, and made really bad choices. Why would I? Why would I lie to you though? Why would I lie to? Because you can't face the truth. That's a reality. I mean, it, 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 it could be a combination of the OCD stuff. Do you think? Do you think if I walk out of here right now uh, that I would do this again? After all of this. Today? No, whenever. Yeah, if I, if I walked out right now, do you think I would do this again, ever again? Right away? And whenever. In my life. Probably, probably not right away. Do I think you'd do it eventually if you didn't seek some type of help for it? I, really? Yeah, I do. I don't know one guy. I don't know. Maybe guys I know do it and I'm unaware of it, but I don't know anybody in my personal life or professional life, in, even in their 20s. They would talk to a 12 or 13 year old girl <laughs> about anything <laughs> other than like coaching soccer because their daughter plays on the team. Not nothing doing. sexual. There's no texting. There's I'm nothing creepy. You, I'm just asking you what you yeah. think of me. Like, do you think that I could control myself and not do this? And uh, do you think I've learned a lesson? You just told me you have OCD, so I'm glad you went to a convention. You apparently can't control yourself at certain times, right? Yeah, no but, offense. Yeah, but OCD is, is unrelated. Whatever. Maybe it is. I'm not a doctor. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's. There's other issues. It's unrelated. Med- I can control the myself. medication. Well, could you control yourself with this? Well, I can control myself by actions. I can control my actions. You drove down when the fucking the mother's going, and you wanted to get get her drunk. So do you think do you think that I would do this again? 
after all of this, after like all this. Oh, I'm gonna say I hope not because I don't. Again, I don't want to argue with you. You don't think I could? You don't? You insulting if, me? If, you, if you if you would do this, you're insulting me. If you would do that. this up until t- this is tonight. This isn't like six months ago, right? This is like right now, tonight. Do I think you would do it if for some reason you got out of this and there was some kind of weird, you know, hey, Jeff, you're all set, don't worry about court, no, no problem, all those charges are dropped, see you later. Do I think you would do it again? Yeah, I'd do it. I'd probably just, just about bet my life and career on it, actually, because I don't think anybody would do that. And then, do I think it's the first time you did it? No, I don't. Okay. Because that's just, if, if it is the first time, it's almost more bizarre than if it's not. Because if it's the first time, what what the fuck drove you to do that? Or I would understand it more if you said, yeah, I always kind of like like the younger teenage girls, and this girl's a little younger than most, but, eh. you know what I mean? But you're actually acting like, well, no, she was pretty cool, I want to hang out. I'm like, that's just, to me, it's, it's I can't wrap my head around it. Again, knowing girls of that age, I know what they look like and act like. Uh, other than texting, like stuff like, "Hey, there's a game tomorrow. Make sure everybody's there" or something, that ain't happening. You know what I mean? I'm not asking for uh, you're a virgin or whatever. All the other stuff we've already covered. So until you recognize that and like kind of accept it, doesn't mean anything. And there's the, the guy that's looking at you right there in yeah. the little reflection. Yeah. Then you're never gonna get well either. You can't. You can't. You can't take me at my word when I say I don't know that I've learned. Oh, I'm sure you learned. It probably sucks. Yeah, I'm sure that in that that respect. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go near this situation. You wouldn't want to. Do I think you can control it? Really? You ever think I really? No. Because why would you do it if you could control it? As soon as you found out she was 12 or 13, whatever is in dispute here, you should have been like, "Peace. I'm out of here. Good luck with the uh, teenage boys or whatever." Instead, you continue this whole thing for yeah, weeks no, it's wrong to do and that. drive from a major metropolitan area where there's probably, to be crude, all kinds of women, let's just say, and you're coming down to Fairfield, Connecticut to meet this 13-year-old. It's hard to meet women where I am, but I know it's just another story. You, you, you get my point. I know your point. There's millions of people in the Boston area, the people that are transient and regular. If know, I really, permanent yeah, people. If I really wanted to pray on 13-year-old girls, why wouldn't I just do it up in Boston? Maybe you do. Okay. I don't know. I see. Okay. I don't know, right? You don't know, know me, I don't know you. So I'm assuming that, you know, this is the first time possibly, but do I know that? No, I don't know that. Um, so my question is, yeah. um, can you tell me the bond, what bond is? I actually don't know, but when I walk in downstairs, I'll find out. Okay. Um, what's, I mean, what's the next, what's going to happen? Well, there's going to be a bond, and either you're able to post the bond, at which point you would usually get a bondsman and get out and have a future court date. I didn't see what they gave you for a court date. If you can't post the bond today, Saturday night, we keep you till Monday morning, and we bring you over to the court in Bridgeport, at which point you'd be arraigned, and they'd either you know, continue or keep the bond at that level, or they would drop it down, or maybe in the meantime you made arrangements to post the bond. Does that make sense? So if you can't post the bond, you're going to be in our custody from today until Monday morning, and you could actually remain in custody, even though you go to court that day, depending on the bond. But if the bond is doable for you, you would get out and return to court, like say in two weeks, to go to your first court date. Which would would be that would be like a, yeah that would be down here in Bridgeport next to next to Fairfield, and that would be like the, your first court date of probably several regarding this. I'm not trying to beat you up. It was a horrible decision. I hope it was the first time you ever did this. It was the first time. Yes, it was a horrible decision. But it, it it's I guess it just had it's, a it's terrible. Had a, like, and you, you'll, you'll get it at some point. I, no, I, don't, I don't know you, but I know. I you, you'll be like, holy fuck, what did I do? I have already, as soon as that guy walked in, I said right, that in my head. Just, but um, yeah, I don't know how the, I don't know how the bond thing works. I'll find out what it is when I bring you downstairs and just uh, 
you know, you can make a phone call at some point and see if you could raise it. If you just want to sit quiet for tonight, we put you in a, in a cell with a, a blanket. You go to bed, we give you breakfast in the morning, we keep you tomorrow Sunday, we keep you all day. Till Monday morning, we bring you to court. Make sense? Yeah, I'm just worried about my diet. Well, I mean, depending on what the bond is, but... Um, if I can't, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what it is. Usually, have you ever been arrested or in any trouble? No. Never in your life? All right, give me, give me two seconds. Let me just grab somebody, and we'll uh, go downstairs, okay? Can you use the bathroom? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do it. Let me just...